Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Mel. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I am Rob. <laughs> I am is, Rob. This is Rob, and today we are going to be painting with Mel. Um, Rob is going to be moderating the chat and um, helping with that while I have my head down painting. So if, we have, if you have any questions, you can throw them in the chat. Um, I guess my disclaimer would be that I'm a newbie painter. I've been painting for about a month, maybe a month and a half. And I just think it's fun. It's a fun hobby. So I'm not a pro. So please feel free to give me tips. But she is way better than I am, <laughs> FYI. Like a hundred times better than I am. But I set the bar real low. Yeah, real so, low. so we're really low on the uh, scale of great to bad painters. So uh, give, give, us, give me, I guess, and Rob your tips as we paint tonight. Yeah, I've dabbled, I've painted a little bit. Uh, I've watched videos over the years, tried to paint minis. I've dabbled. You guys have seen some work out, some don't. I'm good here, I'm good there. She's better. <laughs> She's watched a lot of the same videos I've watched and more. Yeah. Uh, went on Gen Con, did some events teaching minis painting. Uh, she was watching while I was watching Chip Theory game streams and stuff like that. Uh, but but yeah. Andrew's painting from Chip Theory games oh, yeah. was amazing. That. He yes, did a great did. job. I loved that one. Yes, yeah. you can go see that on the Chip Theory Games YouTube channel where he's painting the Cloud Spire spires. Yeah. So this is something new we're doing uh, thanks to reaching a Patreon goal. If you're interested in donating to the channel and becoming an awesome Patreon supporter like so many other producers, supporters, and fans of the channel have, links are down in the description below. One of the goals we did to celebrate reaching a funding goal was this, uh, which we just reached. Uh, was Mel doing like a monthly or bi-weekly? We're not sure. We'll see if people even watch or anyone cares. Yeah, but, if we uh, don't care, no problem. We'll do it for a while. <laughs> we'll see. This is our first test stream. Uh, it's casual. It's chill. If you're a pro painter, awesome. Drop yes. some tips. You know, feedback's welcome. If, or if you see me do something and you're like, you could do it a little bit easier this way, then let me know. Yeah, or if you're, you're new painting and you have questions for Mel and just want to know what, why are you doing that or what is that called or where'd you learn that or what paint color was that or what's that brush, whatever, we'll talk about what she's using. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just a chill hangout stream while Mel paints. This is basically what it is, what it's going to start out to be. That's just what we're going to do here. So we'll be painting for a bit. Yeah. Uh, but we're also doing it to prep for future, uh, this one for future Sky Terror. Uh, we got the base game and an expansion, so we're going to paint the minis before we play that game on the channel. So that's what we're painting today, our Sky Tear miniatures. Uh, for any of those who don't know what that game is, uh, you can look that up. Uh, or see videos of it on Team Covenant's YouTube channel. I remember that's where I first uh, heard about the game. Uh, but it is a MOBA-style tower defense game. We'll be playing on the future, but it has nice little miniatures, and uh, we'll be checking those out. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's first... Start off with a overhead shot, not the best quality, of Mel's little painting station here. So you guys get an idea, but we'll be nice and zoomed in yeah. on, on her painting when we go. So this is her, her setup, a little, little zoomed out here. Uh, we have the army painter, 
paint set here, the 500 or 500. No, 500. <laughs> 50. Take off a zero. 50 the, paints. The 50 little paint starter set, whatever it's called. I don't know if it's a starter set, but. I think I think it is. It comes with the paints, it, a lot it, of the it, colors it, you it, need. It is a good way to get started. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have to mix a lot of paints. That's true. And it comes with some washes too, some different and metallics. washes. Yeah, metallics, yeah, which and, is great. So this, this came with 50 paints in a box. I think it came with a little brush included. It did, uh, yeah. Can you turn down the white? Uh, we'll change. Oh, sorry, it won't be on. The, yeah, yeah, this shot we'll just use for a minute, but yeah, this is friggin' bright. Uh, yeah, maybe I can actually. One sec. I think that is. Yeah, bad. for me, it like looks okay on our one screen, but I yeah. Can that... No, 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 no. Me... no. Oh, okay. We'll fix it. Just leave it so I can change it. We're not gonna stay on this. This one, we have a better one. Let's see if I can get connected. Um, okay. Hold. Yeah, it did come with a, a brush, and it came with some instructions. That better. That better. Slightly. Know. Turn it make it a little darker, but we'll just go on this for a minute. Uh, all right, so this is her setup. She's got some paint brushes here. Uh, I've linked down below actually because I, I anticipated the questions, and everyone always for asking me to use Amazon affiliate links for stuff since people always buy games and things that we play on the channel. Uh, it gives you like a little kickback. I have Amazon affiliate accounts, I'm just lazy and never ever <laughs> do that. Uh, but today I had some time while setting this up. Uh, so I've, I've linked down below for what I could find the equivalent of or as close as I could get on Amazon Canada, US and UK, uh, the ones that have affiliate accounts on or whatever, um, the little uh, four tier uh, organizing tray that's holding these paints, the paint set for those who are curious, the other paint set we were going to buy to start with, there's a smaller, if you don't wanna spend the amount of money that's on these paint sets, uh, a lot of videos and, and classes and stuff we were uh, attending, were recommending to start with the Vallejo like USA basic color set or some starter set. There's there's different starter sets. One's actually called like USA basic colors, but there's a, another two or three options and sometimes they're in stock, sometimes they're not. But it's a cheaper way to get a handful of paints to get started and you can mix and all that kind of stuff. I've also linked those down in the video description below and also the paint brushes uh, that Mel's using. Yep. They're just generic ones. We saw them that people who bought this set were buying these with yep. it. Uh, it was recommended on Amazon Canada to us. Uh, we read the reviews. These like the roughly 15 US dollars, 20 Canadian dollars uh, paintbrush sets that are for fine detail. So they have, they come, they come with, with a, whole... a whole bunch of, sorry, some garbage. Yeah, they I come with a many... whole bunch of different sizes. I think there's like 10, um, but I like the fine, the really like fine tip ones, uh, but they come with, I don't even know. Here, I'll show you this. Yeah, so we'll check this out it. here. This is the paint set on Amazon Canada. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so it's this, yeah, it does come with a little brush. Uh, I don't know if it comes with the primer. I'm just uh, telling you they color match. I don't think there's any primers no. in there. They just show a primer on the no. box for some reason. Uh, but when you scroll down on this thing, uh, it recommends, like it'll, it'll recommend a paint brush set to you. At least it did on Amazon Canada. So when you go to that, you'll see there's, there's a bunch of different options. But if you read the reviews, they're not the most expensive paint brushes. But a lot of people say when you're getting started, like, it, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Yeah. You'll still get the job done. So we're just using these. They cost like 15 to $20. For, I think, 10 For like, yeah, whatever it is there. Like 10, 10 9 10 brushes. Or 8 or something yeah, like that. Some, yeah, some amount of brushes. But they're great because they have the really, really fine ones. Yeah, 10 miniature brushes. Yeah, you can get down to even like triple zero or... Oh, this one actually goes down to five oh, zeros. triple zero is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, but this one, look, they got, they got five yeah. zeros. This one goes even smaller. Mm. We don't have that one. Have but that anyways, one. we've linked these kind of brush sets down in the description below also for those who are curious, because I know people ask. You'll hear me lots of times probably during this saying, check the video description, just so you can get to I, whatever Amazon page to see these type of brushes. Uh, but yeah, that is that. Also, uh, what she's mounting her paints on, uh, we're just using these paints that I bought before to paint like uh, Space Marines or whatever, Yeah. Uh, back for the Space Hulk game. So they're like from a car car model paints or whatever that we could find back at the time when model paints five years ago were a lot harder to find around where I live. And uh, then just from the dollar store, just sticky tack, just yep, tack, sticky tack to tack sticky the mini tack on them top. On, yep. But there there are nice fancy ways to mount your minis and little holders and stuff from uh, Games Workshop has like a Citadel little oh, holder yeah, and thing. One, yeah. Like I don't know why you'd spend that money with you, know, you just sticky tack it to like a wine cork. Yeah, or, wine cork or an old paint bottle or anything, anything any little anything. thing that is thick and, and and like 
is easier to hold than holding the tiny base of a miniature for your hand cramps. Yeah. And then what else you got set up over here? Uh, so I have my water, obviously uh, my paintbrushes and napkin for brushing. So there's two options here and I'm not sure which one I prefer better. Uh, there is just the dollar store cheap little um, palettes that you can get in all different, you can get flat, you can get the indents, whatever you like. Or uh, in watching some of my videos, you will talk about this wet palette. Um, so I don't have one, but I've made one. Um, so it just is some sort of shallow Tupperware of some kind or some sort of dish and you just wet a paper towel um, just so that it's damp not obviously dripping but you can see that it's here let's switch to this one actually so you, can yeah, show you, can, you can see that it's it's wet to the touch and then you just put a piece of parchment paper on top and then the water kind of seeps through so it helps to water down some of your paints without actually adding water to them and it kind of keeps them wet a little bit longer they dry super fast in, in the um, dry palette so I'm still experimenting with this. I'm not sure. It basically but, saves you money on paints because yeah. you drop a drop of paint. And like Mel just said, the, paint, the miniature paints dry so quickly. You yeah. only need a tiny drop, but that'll keep it wet. And especially if you mix paint colors and if you put the container, they actually sell like proper wet palettes. You, you can find these. They're like little containers. They come with like sheets, the wax sheets you can put on top and you just stick the wet paper towel underneath. Yeah. Um, but it keeps your paints wet. So if you're in the middle of painting like a giant army of miniatures and you've mixed like a specific color you really love and you want to use on all of them, you had to stop. Uh, you could just put the lid on it and it actually seals it for days. I, I don't know if you like store it in the fridge or what, but. No, I think you just leave it out on the counter. Yeah, you just seal it. It keeps the water inside, keeps the paints wet. And then literally open it back up and you can continue painting. So if you take like an hour to paint using the same color, It'll just sit there wet that whole time. And it also thins out the paints a little bit, adds that little bit of moisture. They always say, like, kind of thin the paints down. You don't have to as much with Army Painter, but uh, I see Dragon some mentioning. Of them. Some of them. Some do. of them you do, yeah. Dragon's mentioning, like, dollar, uh, not dollar store, craft store acrylics. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, we get, we get them for, like, a dollar or two dollars here in Canada, but you go to, like, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all, all those kind of stores, uh, even the dollar stores, you can get these, like, larger bottle of acrylic paints. That's what I've been painting with forever. Yeah, that's what we started with. Yeah, you, you just water them down a little bit and, and they're totally fine. Sorry, Rob, you're being, oh no, am I getting voted off the channel? <laughs> no, I need him, at least right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I need I, the I can't support. Show her, I can't show her how to work all the, all the streaming <laughs> stuff or else I'm out. <laughs> no, I need the support. Uh, um, yeah, but I'm still experimenting with this. Um, and there's videos and YouTube videos on how to make a wet palette yourself. And that's just kind of what I've used. I don't even know if I'm making it 100% correctly, but I just followed some instructions and we'll see what happens. I just want to highlight a... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm still the intern today, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> here we go. We got Brian saying, we're all here to witness what will eventually be known as the day Mel started the process of the channel rebrand to Mel's Gaming Table and Painting. Title is a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How do I delete and block Brian from the chat? <laughs> Where, where's that remove Brian from the chat button? I can't find it here. I guess one of the things that I want to say too before I start is that your support from the chat has been amazing. Like just me showing the paint, uh, the minis that I've painted or posting pictures in, in the, the Discord. Discord. Yeah, in the yeah, Discord, in the Discord yeah. and all the support has been so amazing. Um, I really appreciate <laughs> that because it's scary to kind of put yourself out there and show things that may have some slight imperfections that you can see and then people tell you that it looks great and it's kind of it's kind of reassuring. Great, but so. you don't have to be a perfectionist. That's the other thing I no, want to say. Hold but... <laughs> on. Disclaimer. This painting on this channel and the painting you're going to see here and the painting I only care to paint is to paint for practical play. Like to use yeah. to get the pieces on the board game table so that we can play them on video for you guys. And they look a lot nicer than gray blobs of plastic spread all over the place. Especially games with more than one miniature or multiple players to know which character is which uh, when, we're, when we're playing on a live stream. It's just to play with better components. It's not about winning a tournament, a painting tournament, putting them in glass cases on display. That's not what we're doing here. We're gonna be handling them. We're gonna be throwing them back in the box unprotected. Like, yeah, I'll put varnish all over them after, but uh, yeah, we're painting for functionality here. So just, just so you guys know. So that's that's the mentality. I know some people are like, try to be super perfectionist, but I, I hope don't do not do that. You don't, you don't need to do that at all. I know, I know. I, it, we'll have it all nice up and close here with super detail on the camera, but like when we're playing on a live stream, it's not really getting that close to the camera. That's so true. It's like, That's true. It just looks nice from afar, right? That's true. And then like Dragon is saying, all you will always be your own harshest critic, which is very true. You will yeah. always see those little imperfections yeah. that people may not see. And then, then you hold it up to the camera where, where it's blown up big. You're like, oh, okay. 
little messy so, uh, there. Also here we got Sajat. Uh, I need him at least right now, <laughs> Mel, before the takeover 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you guys are awesome. All right. Uh, so let's get down to it here. Um, okay. So yeah. I guess just briefly, quickly, um, I'm just going to show you a few of the ones that I just painted for uh, Aftermath, which we will be playing. So originally, we were going to do this painting test stream like weeks ago yeah. while Mel was in the process of painting these, but it just didn't work out and she was like going nuts painting. I didn't want her delayed anymore so we get Aftermath on the channel. So she just finished this recently. Yes. So, so these yeah. are just... Just to show some of my work. Oops. Yeah. So it's not, obviously it's not perfect. It's not, um, it's not pro by any means, but. But did you have fun doing it? I did. I love painting, which is exactly why I'm doing it here for everyone or with everyone. Uh, so these are some of, I just a few. I wish I could have showed a before and after. Like these minis look kind of cool. They have like a black wash on them. But uh, just to show like what we would have been playing with versus now, like it's night and day. Yeah. Like for those who don't paint miniatures, which is me, I play with a lot of gray plastic over the years. Yeah. And then uh, it's but just... it's like night and day when you get to play with like properly painted minis. Yeah. So, yeah, there's just a few examples um, of what I've done. Um, my biggest weaknesses, I think, in painting is probably dry brushing and washing. Mm -hmm. Those are where I really need to. Yep. research more some on, shadows on, in there yeah, on how to bring do out that. some highlights yeah. yeah so those are that's where my biggest weaknesses are for sure so i guess also I'll... base base coating or whatever it's called priming oh yeah you do that yeah i do that <laughs> yeah he does all <laughs> I was the, like the prime these minis for me i need them later okay yes ma'am <laughs> so he sprays everything and, for and me i varnish and them after <laughs> i'm the spray i'm the spray can guy <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. the spray can we're still a team you need me for those spray cans exactly exactly oh yeah. i guess speaking of that we'll just quickly show to you um what we've used to oh i guess we'll do this first so these are the minis that we will be kind of painting today at least one for sure maybe two we'll see how it goes um, and I have the cards for them. I guess it would be like this. This is, we'll do it like this. What are the names? Okay. They, have, they have names, Mel. Back the name. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't want to try to say it. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is what this guy is going to look like. Mainly blue, some white feathers. Okay. But also for functionality, he uh, is from like the blue, the blue faction, faction, right? Yeah, it brought the book in So case. yeah, yeah, here we can go to like the higher one here. So in this manual, if you want to show where the, this is the like factions. Here's the fa is this? Right, this one, oh. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Aren't yeah. There like, there's like yeah, four so there's, main colors, right? So yeah, red, green, yellow, and blue. So he's from this blue faction, so I guess that's why he's mainly blue, which will help distinguish him mm -hmm. with his army or um, team or whatever you call his friends <laughs> i don't know we haven't i haven't read the rule book on this yet <laughs> and then this one as well too we'll see if we have time uh what's his name uh habertat haburat haburat Hab haburat i'm not sure not sure that's either. not correct but that's fine we don't care what the name is right now well, he's a rogue because <laughs> he has a ability called way of the rogue so it looks like maybe it's more gold than yellow that faction yeah i don't so, know so we have some of those. Um, so again, yes, Rob primed these. So he primed them first with this yeah, Drylon Color Max, and we did it in gray. Yeah, I, I don't buy like the, uh, the, the yet. I don't buy arm. I, I do have some army painter um, that we used to paint Zomicide models uh, primer. It's called like Bone Flesh or something, Flesh Bone. Um, but I try to avoid that because those were like pretty expensive buying like Citadel or Army Painter or whatever uh, base coat spray primers. They're like, they're more fine. You could spray them up a little closer, but you could just buy these Krylon or whatever brand from wherever, paint store, craft store, auto shop store, whatever. They're meant, some of them are meant for outdoor like painting uh, patio furniture. But they'll say, oh, like, yeah. you got to watch out. There's ones now that say, like, two times or three times coverage. Don't get that stuff. Oh, it's too way thick? too thick. Yeah. Way too thick. Uh, so we just go with this, like, try to find the Krylon. Like, this is the cheapest stuff. Like, $10 a can. Uh, and you can just get that from your craft store. And yeah, probably, like... Uh... Just get ultra flat, though. I, I like the ultra flat the best. It's not shiny or anything. Um, but, yeah, I just get the white or gray or black. 
So depending on the mini, what color is it going to be? Like we'll do the black with some white on it or the gray with some white or even just white, period. Yeah. Uh, so he primed them in gray and then went over them with the white as he probably just should. Just yeah, that little like top spray thing. I don't remember what it's called, but all these videos, they talk about doing it where you paint the mini like black or gray prime coat and then you use um, just a spray from the top to create like the sunlight kind of effect. Okay. Uh, to just lighten up the paints on the top so where the light's coming from normally, like the sun shining down kind of idea. I'm not the best with that stuff, but uh, I just did it quick and dirty. So for starting this guy, I think I'm just going to use this crystal blue to do his cape and, or and hood robe or what you want to call that. Um, and Dragon has a good, uh, a good device. Never be afraid to test if it looks bad, paint over it. Yeah, that's yeah, one I thing guess. I saw in the videos. Yeah, don't stress out. You can always put another coat on top like, and, and fix it, which is neat. The other thing that I never know what to do either is I never know where to start. Frogs here. I never know where to start on the mini. So Kanji was saying about your previous minis there, uh, the ones that you were showing off. Holy wow, that's amazing. Aww. Nice, thanks, Kanji. Thank you. Do you have anything that I have a clogged paint? Really? Yeah, I can't get it. Oh my god, what do we do? I'm not prepared panic, for this. Panic, panic. <laughs> Stab it with that. Thank you. Just keep that over there in case. Thank you. I just want to wipe off that thing though before you. Yeah, I will. Before it dries. Okay. So show how much paint you just dripped in there. Yep. That looks like a lot to me. I don't know, but. Sorry. Minnie's painting. <laughs> that looks like a lot. It is a lot. It is. It is a lot. But if you look at his, if we're gonna look at his card, yeah, yeah, the majority of him is blue. Is this dark blue? And then we'll use maybe this uh, void shield blue, maybe mixed with some white. Uh, nope, I think this is too dark. What about ultramarine blue? No, mm, I don't no. know your call. We'll see. We'll <laughs> you see. do whatever. I'll, we'll start with. We'll start with this, and then if as we long think as we're it's... playing, and we can tell he's from the blue faction and different from the miniatures beside him, we're good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay. So for this, I will probably use a size uh, zero brush. Again, I like um, the very fine brushes. I don't like brushes that are um, really thick. Patrick's got a tip. Yes, bring the tips. Do it, do it like up here. Patrick says, I always start with the biggest area if I want to go fast or the area you can't reach once you're on the other places if precision is preferred. Oh, okay. I do like the biggest areas too. Um, I also try to start with colors that I'm not mixing so that if I make a mistake and I have to go back to it, it's easy just to do a little dab and, and fix any mistakes later. That's just me. Uh, so Sajat saying, hey Rob, we'll have time to properly chat with us now. How about that? Yeah, yeah. I'll, know, I'll be right? paying attention to the chat. It's my job here. Yeah. I'll try to stay a little quiet, but I'll, I'll bring up stuff as I see it. No, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but if you have questions, throw them. He's monitoring that. So Dragon says that that technique I was talking about, the spray from above with white, uh, it's called the Zenithal technique. Oh. So if you're curious how to do it properly, not how I do it, uh, you could probably Google that and find videos or, or write-ups on how to do it properly. Uh, and the whole, the whole deal behind it and, and see like before and afters using it and stuff. And Cohen's asking, which we just talked about, did you prime the minis? Yes, we used the Zenithal yes. method where we primed it with a gray ultra flat Krylon color master primer all around a nice, like from like a foot away because it's, it's a little thicker primer, uh, spray like a foot away, like a few, a few quick um, passes, turn the mini, you know, I do it on like three or four sides of the mini. And then once it's covered in gray, let it dry for a bit. And then I do the next minis while I'm waiting for those to dry. And then I, I just spray from the top. So I do like whatever, 10 or 20 minis all, all at once over like a 10 minute period in doing that. Um, and then I just spray some white from the top. I, I maybe let it dry longer than that, the first one. But then you just, after you're done priming, you just wait 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how uh, humid the air is or if there's a breeze or bring it inside where you have AC pumping. 
uh, and it'll dry a lot quicker. But we usually wait like at least 30 minutes before Mel starts throwing paint on them. Yeah. But these were primed like a week ago. So, yeah. so we're good. The other thing I find with the white um, when it's on the top, sometimes it, I don't know how to really explain it. And maybe you can see um, when you put it on the white, it kind of like bubbles away. Center. Sorry. Like, see how it's bubbling on the shoulder? I don't even know if that's close enough no, to see. You'd have, you have to. Sorry. Put... We'll get it there. might not even get it. Like, see how it's kind of bubbles? Actually, hold it there for a minute and watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just with the white, I find. So you have to kind of go over it a couple times. Oh, like it's um, not absorbing it onto the primer? Yeah. That kind of idea? Just with the just with the white, I've noticed oh, with that really? one. But it's not bad because I just, if you go over it a couple times, and then it'll start to stick. And it doesn't affect it that I've noticed. Hmm. But again, we're not pros, so. Yeah. Oh, maybe we test it out with like a mini where we paint the whole mini with that white primer. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe we invest in like a proper like uh you know Citadel or whatever or Army Painter or Vallejo or whatever paint brand there are uh, like actual miniature primer that's a little thinner. I think that's just the water in it that just gets absorbed, right? Or is not or is too much water? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, or maybe it wasn't mixed enough. Like I shake it usually for like a minute or two. No, but it's been like that. It's like that on every one that has the white on top. So, is this Smurf blue? It is it too cartoony? Well, you're gonna, you know, wash it and highlight it and whatever, right? You tell me if it's yeah. Void shield blue. So we can do this now that. Yeah. So yeah. you want like a darker blue and like based on me looking at that, it's like dark blue, and then you do like light blue for the the the, the, the like lines on the outside of see all like the lines on mm -hmm. this thing like mm -hmm. like right here. Yeah. Whoops. I do like light blue in there, light blue around the outside, and then I would like a uh, dry brush uh, on the later stuff. I, I don't know. Okay. You, so then what we're going to do? You do what do. you want. Though. I know. Like, I know. This is just reference, right? I know, because when you look at it, I literally do not care if you match the colors. You could do this guy like purple and whatever, as long as like and do the base blue even or something, so we know he's from that faction. But uh, yeah, you do no, whatever you want. No, we can definitely do. That's part of the art. <laughs> Artistic side of miniatures painting. It's not just color by numbers. You can totally do whatever you want. It's just your canvas is the miniature. <laughs> so I feel like we could actually kind of maybe do a second coat with a deep blue. So then the deep blue will um, be over top of that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I wonder if it relates to like we don't... Um, we'll see. We don't like wash them. There's a step where you're supposed to like wash the miniatures. If they oh, look like yeah, oily, yeah. wash them in some soap and water to get that off first. I don't really do that ever, but like some some videos and, and stuff we read was like, who cares? Just get the primer on top and you're fine. But maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's like the chemicals that's on the miniature still in there mixing with the primer a little bit, causing like some paint resistance uh, for it sticking. Maybe. Let's see. Patrick's got an answer there. What happens if the primer is not working correctly with your acrylic paint? This is what the professionally primer should stop, but it's but still then if the primer is too thin, it can still happen. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it is a thing. I just thought it was something that I noticed. Primer is too smooth for the paint to stick at. It also happens with bare plastic. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Oh, okay. And no worries, Paul. No worries. Thank you for stopping in. Thanks, uh, Paul. He's got to take. He's got to take off. It's all good. No problem. Yeah. Okay. See, Dragon seeing it. Uh, this is what I was just thinking, and what I was just saying. Could wash to get mold release and hand oils off, and that I don't do before that before we prime. Yeah, you're supposed to like wash them in soap and water to get all, all the oils from manufacturing and releasing the molds and all that stuff. Uh, so it's just like true plastic. Then the primer will stick better, and then there's no chemicals to mix, kind of thing. We'll try that for the next like game obviously all these ones have already been primed for this game so we won't be doing that but yeah there's a there's a thing maybe, maybe we need to do it i didn't value it enough but no but that's we're learning together here yeah patrick's saying right here if you have residue from the casting on the mini your paint will fall off in flakes oh okay good to know good to know 
Okay, so for the feathers, you were saying more of a lighter, maybe I mix this, uh, this void shield with white. I don't know. What you want? No. And hello, Joyce from Down Under. Hello. <laughs> and finally make it on stream. Yeah, we do like the later streams here on the East Coast uh, of Canada, or Eastern Time Zone of Canada, not on the East Coast. Eastern Time Zone. Okay, so I just put and some it's, on it's here better. just to look at the color of it. And actually, maybe we'll actually just put it right on. We'll see if this is a color that it might not even be enough. Oh, another tip, another tip. And I hope these tips help other people watching this in the future, if at all, uh, or those in the chat even that maybe don't know. Rory says he puts his in a small mess laundry bag and wash in the sink. Dawn soap works best. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dragon also uses Dawn. <laughs> okay, so I think that is not the color that I'm going for either. So, we'll add a little bit of white. <laughs> See. Like what are you trying to do under the, under the wings? Like yeah, like see how it's more white than blue. Yeah, I would just do like kind of a off white or a bone white or something like mummy robes. I would do mummy robes. Yeah. Think of bird feathers, right? Like this is looking like pure white, but like you know. Yeah. Uh, your call. Your call. Oh, that's a light blue. Mm hmm We're going to put it on this side and see if you like it better. Yep. I like that better already. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay. So now we have to throw them out and, and buy and a new start miniature, again. right? Yep. Oh, okay. Exactly. 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 I think the hardest part is, for me, uh, I'm not a creative person. I can, like, if you give me something and say, here, paint this and make it look like this, I can do that. But if you gave me something and said, here, just make it however you want. I think that will come with experience once you've, like, dabbled and seen things and paint all different type of things, like different creatures and people. Yeah. You're, now you're painting feathers for the first time. Like, you'll learn stuff as you paint different minis with feathers. You'll start getting used to it or fur and all this weird kind of stuff. Yeah, that's true. Or just try different stuff each time and then... True. Royce is asking, is there a strategy to start with painting a mini? Do we usually... Get on screen. Is there a strategy to start with painting a mini? Do we usually go with darker colors and work our way to lighter ones? I think um, it depends on the miniature, right? Yeah, that was what I was saying at the beginning. I don't, I don't really have a strategy. I just kind of look at it and start. Um, but maybe the chat but, chat probably has some good answers. Yeah, if we, there's a process. Yeah, we definitely that, have some more experienced painters in the chat for sure. Let's see if we. Yeah. Um, yeah, Heather's agreeing that that will come with experience. That's what I was saying too. Like once you like get more creative with it. Yeah. Okay, so like, here's how to fade. How the fade in is going to go. I have no idea how to do that. Um, so now I guess I don't really know how to do it either, <laughs> but I did it on one of these. Remember which one? I did it on one of, on one of the aftermath that I did where I just kind of did it. Um, I think it's like on one of the bellies. It's probably on one of the, uh, the... I didn't. I did. No, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I did it on something, but I can't really remember. And I just, I just did it. I just picked a different color and I did it kind of like a dry brush after. So it kind of faded in. Greg says, I tend to start mid down, then paint in shadows, then highlights. Oh, okay. Billy says, I do some dark and try to dry brush a bit on some dark minis I have. Yeah, the dry brush, that's where I need to continue to watch videos. I did, um, I did do dry brush on this. 
then I put a wash on it. And again, I'm not, I'm terrible with washing. And then I was disappointed because I thought it kind of looked more brown, but I liked the, dr the dry brush that I did on it until I put the wash on it. So I'm not really sure. Again, not being a pro, <laughs> just kind of experiment and see what it looks like. And Was says, I just pledged bling all in on Massive Darkness 2. Will be my first game with minis. Oh. I have a year to learn mini painting, lol. You know what? Just... My friend, you have probably two years to learn mini painting. <laughs> that is true. I hate to break it to you, but um, you have probably two years before you need to start painting those. But I'm sure you have some <laughs> games in your collection that you can just practice on, even games that you don't play anymore. Got like a Zombicide kicking around. Yeah, that's what we did to learn how to paint. We cracked out Zombicide first edition. Uh, this was years ago. Uh, and to learn how to paint, my daughter at the time, she was probably like five or six, mm -hmm. uh, and we were, we were gathered around the table, all three of us. We were watching videos. We were trying to figure out painting tips and stuff. And then we just grabbed a bunch of Zombicide like walkers from the original game that we didn't play too much anymore because we had Black Plague, I think, at that point. Uh, and we just started painting them because we didn't care if we messed up on zombie side zombies exactly and we we're trying to get good and then our the plan was to eventually then paint the characters once we knew what we were doing because the characters you want to look nicer you're going to see those all the time and the, and the minis they're just in piles on the board like who cares and sean's here what up sky terror looks so good yeah we I haven't, can't, we yeah, haven't we, learned it yet i started reading the rules um but yeah it's like it's like a ccg like an lcg with miniatures and a board it looks cool. There's like deck building, card play. But it's like MOBA, tower defense, whatever, MOBA inspired. And yeah, you build build decks of characters, put your minis out. Minions running around trying to destroy towers. Heroes trying to kill each other. And then there's like other goals you're trying to achieve and stuff. Uh, it looks neat. But it's going to take a bit. We'll, we'll have to play, like read the rules. Just like an LCG, practice it kind of like, because it's, it's meant for like, you could play it casually like board game style. Which we're gonna do, but you could buy expansions, uh, build decks, go to tournaments. There's an app, actually, an official way to play this game online. Uh, so you can go play it for free and try it and whatever. I might try to learn it that way if it has a decent tutorial, I don't know. Um, but there is an online digital way to play the game. And yeah, they have tournaments and stuff on their YouTube channel. They have like, yeah, they have tournament matches happening and stuff. On their YouTube channel of them playing? Not the physical game, because it's like they'll have someone from US playing someone from somewhere else oh, or okay, that kind okay. of thing, like like regional championships and stuff that they're just like playing on, on that. Whatever it is, the online way to play Sky Terror, just go to Sky Terror's official website. They have like a way to play it online for free. I'm pretty sure. At least they did before. <laughs> Hold on, I have a comment to highlight here. Okay. We have a sec. I need you to read that out. Looks like someone is painting in the danger zone. No, no. See, the last part's capital, uh, capitalized with oh, lots of so exclamation points, Mel. You need to read that exactly. Looks like someone is painting in the danger zone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a cop. Hello. <laughs> um, what were we just talking about? Uh, oh, Sky Terror, yeah. So, Sean's saying, I think Cloud Spire has been beat. Uh, I don't know. Has been beat, oh, by Sky Terror? Because they're both like MOBA inspired games. But one, well, yeah, this one looks like, yes, there's deck building, there is setup to it, but I haven't played it yet, but my understanding is it's a lot quicker to get to the table, get a game going, yeah. and, and it's shorter. Like, it has a, a, a shorter lifespan to it uh, on the table. Yeah, so it'll be easier to get to the table for some people. But I'm sure it's pretty deep. We'll see. We'll see. I can't make, I can't make the call on it yet until I've played it a bunch. Uh, to compare it to Cloud Spire, but it's definitely like more of a skirmish game, like the main Cloud Spire mode. I don't, there's no co op or solo or campaign books or anything like that. It's just literally like it's an else competitive LCG with miniatures and a board. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. So it's like it's like supposedly the best MOBA adaptation to a board game, supposedly, from what I was reading when I was researching the game uh, after the publisher reached out for the first time. I was like, let me look into this. Let me look. I did my research. I had some questions. They answered these questions. I was satisfied. We're going to play it on the channel. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a shake. See how it is. 
just too bad right now. This kind of this kind of game, uh, it has a free online way to play, which is nice, and you can play it in your house and all. But whenever I get a, a game like this that's competitive, like ultra competitive, where they're like rebalancing it all the time and expansions are coming out and all this kind of stuff, and there's like a meta, I, I kind of start getting like real competitive and start like diving in like it's like a lifestyle game. That's what this could lead to, but the base set gives you enough to just play it like a board game. So I want to show you something here. Uh -oh. Where I was telling you about how some of the some of these army painters, like you can see that they come in different consistencies. You so that's, shake it. Did I you did. Shake it a I lot? did. I did. But I'll do some more just to show you. You gotta shake it like a salt shaker. Yeah. Okay. So that one is the uh, crystal blue, and it comes out kind of thick. And then I just added some water and did some on my own over there. But watch this one how it comes out of here, like very very thin. I have. I so did it just read comes that, in a different. I, I read that in the reviews of some paints, like these ones too. Yeah. It's with all of them, even Citadel and all these ones. They they say sometimes you just get a bad batch that's like not mixed well enough, or like the the consistency is not the same. Yeah. They're supposed to be, but I mean. But you can see that this one is very wet, compared. Oops, compared to this one, like this one, you can see is very thick, versus this one that's very wet. Let's say. Uh, Hey there. Shake well. Yes, 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 I did. Shake well. I did. Shake it well. Like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over. Um, I'm gonna go over this tape with this deep blue um, to see if we can darken it a little bit because it does look a little Smurfish and a little cartoony, as Rob likes to say. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, we may have to go over it a couple times with this because it is a thinner. Um, uh, so, uh, so Scott was just joining late, but for those who didn't, didn't, weren't here in the beginning, we went over all the equipment paints and, and the holder and the paintbrush and all that stuff. I've linked it down in the description below to like Amazon links or whatever, for those who are curious, uh, if you want to check out all these products, there are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do click them and make a purchase after anything. I get like a fraction of a penny supposedly goes into our account. I don't know. We don't know yet. Never got there. I'm super lazy with the affiliate link stuff, which and I apparently be. we can't see what you order, so don't worry. But yeah, uh, so this is the Army Painter. So Sakabra, this is the Army Painter 50 set that's linked down below. But there is another beginner paint set that we were recommended highly and has good reviews. It's the Vallejo, like one of their starter sets, like the USA Basic or whatever. I've linked some of those down below too. I think the reason, the only reason that we went with this one over the Vallejo too is because we were going to buy washes at the same time. And this one came with washes in it. It came with a few more colors. So for us, it just seemed like it was. That does look like a wash actually, the way it's going on. Yeah. Uh, but it's which not. Which one was it? The, uh, the deep blue. Deep it's, blue? Yeah, it's not. It's just very light. Yeah. Uh, but it's okay. I think it's going to actually darken it enough. Is someone saying it looks like a wash? Oh, yeah. This is the original shake weight paint bottles. <laughs> Bigger weights or whatever. But I'll, I'll, um, we'll see how it dries. If it, I think it might be. This is the medium. You have to shake them extremely hard, harder than you can by hand. That is why most painters use agitators from stainless steel and nail polish shakers for their paints. Oh, wow. Agitators? This is something else i got to figure out wow. now. Wow, I didn't know that. I don't know what an so, agitator was. I know it looks like a wash. You're right, but we'll see what it looks like when it dries. Because to my eyes, it actually looks better. But obviously on camera, it's looking... Yeah, like once it dries, if there's too much medium, it'll just like kind of dry dirty on there kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't realize that was a thing. I just thought that it was weird how some of them are like that, where some of them are a little bit more watery than. In my eyes, it looks fine, but looking on the camera, you're right, it does look more like a wash. But it is darkening it if you look at the hood versus the cape part. It is darkening it up a little bit, which is nice. Patrick says, versus the real word. Yeah, we'll look into that after, actually. I'm curious. No, I know what you mean. It's like what they use to shake the paints at the, um, when you buy, like, a Just like a little, like paint, a vibrating can, machine. Yeah, like. you can get, like, a... Hmm. Oh, it's a known issue with Army Painter paints. Army Painter is also selling those small balls in a pack of 100. Oh, so they make the problem and they got the solution for it? How convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, small ball bearings. Oh, I thought you were... 
just fine again. Like we said at the very beginning, we're just doing it more for functionality. So if it does look a little bit more dirty or whatever, or also too, when you put a wash on it, I think that changes some of the way the color looks anyways. So it's the same ideas in, in the spray paint can, right? You guys are talking about, you just put the balls in, ball bearings, and it, and it shakes oh. like that, right? Like that's what it is. It's just doing that, right? But you're doing it like in the small little 18 ounce little bottles here, whatever they are. You can take the thing off? Yeah, the, yeah, I would have. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. know how you get that. Off. Maybe. I don't know. How, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, how are you getting. I don't know how you're getting that piece off. I guess you could. Maybe it. Probably does pop just off. Pops off somehow. But or is I... the ball bearing so small it fits in the top? I don't think that I would be know. the case. You can pull out the dropper lid. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, I just strapped BBs. Oh, my kids oh man oh like how the heck did you guys learn all this stuff that's just crazy i never saw any of this when we were like researching at all yeah no one talks about that in their videos that when i'm watching they go back and forth it will pop off oh okay so it's just oh. like kind of tight on there it's not like sealed with a glue or anything you just like wiggle it out okay i can see uh some messy paint spills from doing that the first time <laughs> <Yeah, pop. laughs> i guess that's the other thing too is trying to figure out how much water to add to water down your paints that's another yeah but i think the little moisture thing you're doing on the on the dry uh the wet palette or whatever it's called um, yeah and then i good. just use a little bit um from the brush itself all right just trying to do around the face good job for the painting intern yeah Taking off lids, putting in ball bearings. I'll be doing that later. We'll, yeah. we'll figure that out. Yeah, that'll be Rob's job. You just need to, uh, oh, I should note it down, actually. The blue? Deep blue? Deep blue, yep. I think there's a, the bl no. Oh, there's another one that's like that. We might, yeah, we'll probably go over that one more time. I wonder if it's looking like a wash only because it went over the other color. Let's see what it's going to look like when we put it just over the gray. It doesn't fully look like as bad. I wonder if it's just going over the other color. Oh, really? What? Dragon just got the notification for oh. the live stream. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's okay. That's annoying. Oh, well. You didn't miss much. <laughs> no, just kidding. I has been here the whole time. Oh, we're good. Has he? Yeah. I haven't. I, haven't... I, I put it in the Discord, too, oh. just so oh. in, in case anyone didn't get it. I, um, I'm not looking up, so. All good. <laughs> I know, Patrick. I was only joking about it. Squeezing it when you're pulling the thing off and it sprays paint all over you. Yeah, I obviously would do it very gently. <laughs> that would be funny though. I'd also do it like on a table where I hold the paint down and just like kind of lift the lid off so that if it if it pulls like the table's got force on the other side of my hand. I was only joking. <laughs> but <laughs> I can funny. see it the first time like, man, let me just try to get this lid off. Bah! So we should record it is what you're saying. Yes, we should do it right now on a live stream. Yeah. I just need to change my shirt one sec. <laughs> <laughs> Owen says, for adding water to your paint, it should have a milky consistency. Yeah, just the uh, focus was flipping. Oh, sorry, right sorry. So you're saying, like, this first one is what you're saying? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Which sometimes I do that, and then you sometimes say it looks a little cartoony. I wonder if 
Because oh, I always no, thought no. I thought it was like the paint was too thick. No, I don't mean that part. It's me at the end before the washes oh. go on and the and the dry brushing and stuff. It looks very like comic book, like flat colors. Uh, Clement, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Uh, I can't tell what that is. Hard to tell in video. No, I know. I'm trying to see if it's part of the jacket. Okay. I didn't know, like, if this piece here was. Yep, there it is. You know, if it was like a bag. And we'll do the boots and pants slightly different. So it's not all blue. Okay, we'll let that dry. We'll probably have to go over that again. I think I'm just gonna quickly go over the feathers for time, unless we want to leave them. No, I don't think so. So we'll mix again a little bit of the Void Shield blue with a white. Almost would be better if it's slightly lighter than the color that it originally is, so it can kind of look slightly faded or slightly. Bada Gamey Bada says one square of TP in hand while taking lid off will clean all mistakes. <laughs> yes, there you go. One square, though, is that enough? One square. Square. My brain is going to that Seinfeld episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a square to spare. Nope. <laughs> that person named Bad at Board Games? Yeah, uh, no, Bad at Gaming. Oh, Bad at Gaming. That's clever. <laughs> Very awesome clever. Name. Awesome name. Well, once you get good, you can't. Yeah, you then can't what are you going to do? Anymore, right? Like, then you got you to gotta rebrand yourself. <laughs> Does never get good. Hmm. Uh, so Sean asked before I miss this, uh, you play Legends of Runeterra? Never heard never of Never heard of that. No, I don't think I've heard of that, Sean. One square of two players. <laughs> <laughs> Into a rap stream, boots and pants. <laughs> Boots and pants. Despair. So normally when I paint, usually Rob is watching TV or whatever. What do you guys like to do when you're watching, or when you're watching TV? When you're painting, do you like, like silence? Do you listen to music? Do you have something on in the background? I'm curious. Yeah, when she was last painting, I was watching this awesome documentary on Netflix called High Score oh, that just dropped. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good, by the way. Yeah. Like a nice documentary on like, it interviews a lot of like the developers and stuff, game designers from back in the late 70s, early 80s, even mid 90s and stuff. All the like big things that made an impact on the video game industry. Kind of neat. Then it goes in a bit of esports and stuff in it too. Cool. It was neat, but. Dragon says. Classical. Music while painting Beethoven. Oh. Beethoven. Like classical Beethoven. Cla Beethoven. Classical Beethoven. music like Beethoven. <laughs> I like Rory's answer. He likes to watch our streams. Oh, there you go. Usually an older playthrough. Yeah, that way then you don't have to worry about like chatting. Stopping, yeah, and then being like, oh, oh, I want to type something in the chat. It's like, eh, it already happened. Yeah, usually uh, something's on the TV and I'm just kind of sitting in the corner. I have yeah. like a whole station set up. Like sometimes Chelsea will be playing video games and yeah. just be like sitting there like well they got some Zelda Breath of the Wild or Animal Crossing on the TV. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Cohen says, Mel, can you still see the details on the feathers? Question mark. The paint looks very thick. 
Uh, I can to my eyes, but I mean, I wonder, I mean, we could do like some slight dry brushing on it after, but oh, I don't but know. Oh, but you're like, like, what he's saying is you're kind of like, you put too much paint on, you'll fill in the details. So when you do too many coats, like you want to be like yeah. super thin coats. Okay. Let's see? Curious if there is much detail. There's not really much detail. Oh, there is. I see. Yeah. You can still see it Cohen, but it's like so small, the detail on there. But yeah, you probably would just want to do like, uh, I don't know if like the primer should have been like. A more lighter color and then like oh um are you talking about, oh i see what you're talking yeah, about you can hold it up here probably get it up there i'll show it but if you look yeah. in the bottom yeah, right I when i do like the different angles there you can kind of see the the mm -hmm. ripple i don't know if when it dries it'll be more prominent or yeah. not i don't know if it dries it'll get rid of it hmm. but uh we'll see yeah and then maybe i can yeah And that's again trying to know how many coats and how what it should look like. That's the working on that. Jamie's here. Howdy, y'all! Finally get to see a live stream again. Haven't been able to with work. Uh, what figures are you painting today? Uh, we are playing Sky Tear figures. Ha Haborat is a champion from the game. Yep. This guy we'll be painting next, I guess, assuming we have time. And then right now we're Korjoff. painting. Korjoff, Grey Watcher, like a hero from this MOBA inspired uh, Sky Terror game. Like that. I think it's looking somewhat like him, enough that it, it's recognizable if you were yeah, to look at the card. Man, like I said, <laughs> paint for practicality. Like when we're playing the game, it's going to look way better than a bunch of gray miniatures all over the place. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Dragon saying, tip in the chat there, white primer helps colors be more vivid. Or you can just paint some white down first before you put your color on, too. That's oh, what you were saying that, before. that makes sense. The other thing, too, is we never really look at what they should look like when we prime them. But maybe that's something that we should be doing is saying, oh, these are darker minis or these are lighter minis. Yeah, I just asked Mel, like, what color do you want me to prime these today? And she's like, oh, just use the gray with some white on. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Joyce is saying, I guess you could just dry brush over those ripples to get them that's, to pop. That's what I was thinking, that we can do maybe with some white. Because... Uh, but also Cohen saying a wash would help to distinguish the feathers, but you'll have to highlight to get the color back. Highlight after the wash, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamie's saying, looking good. Thank you, thank you. So I think me, obviously, of course, not of course, the, not, not the, the mini. No. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. So I'm just gonna, I think, do oh, actually maybe I won't do black. Maybe I'll do more. I'm wondering if I do more of like a gray. Or a brown, a gray on a dark gray on the belt. Yeah, let's go with a. Uh, this one is, I think, one of my favorite grays. This necromancer's cloak. I don't know. I just like the the color that it that it is. Kind of like a <laughs> very dark. Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so Rory's asking a question. So are you doing Sky Terror stream before Aftermath stream? No, there are two different game categories in our opinion. One, Aftermath, is a campaign game. So similar to how we've recently done, like, Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, Taina Grail, uh, Dawn of Peacemakers, all these games where you play, like, a whole bunch of scenarios through, kind of like a legacy or campaign game. Uh, Aftermath will be that next game, which Mel finished, finished painting the minis, like, within the last week. Uh, yeah. so she was showing those off at the start of the stream. So Aftermath will start, but we're going to try it a little slow this time, I think. We're going to do like one or two a week at max of Aftermath. I don't know how long each one's going to take. We'll see. Um, and then we'll judge based on the first little bit how it's going. But we're going to we're gonna play Aftermath kind of slow and steady. We'll see if there's not an audience. I don't know if we'll play all the way to the end. But we'll definitely start playing it on stream. And uh, yeah, we'll play Sky Terror in there somewhere too. Like we're not going to wait for Aftermath to be played first because it's like a full campaign. Uh, so we don't want to like just go deep dive into a full campaign and kind of ignore a bunch of other games. We're going to try to do like one or two streams a week of, of Aftermath and mix in like Sky Terror and other games and, and do our other streams like, you know, around that. So but sometimes we take the approach where we're like, all right, like Clank Legacy, like we're, we're so into it. We're like, let's only stream that for like the next week or two and like just go crazy and let's 
you know, stream three days in a row, just go nuts. Eight hour streams, let's do it and get through this whole campaign. We're so excited. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Like we basically binge play games sometimes, or sometimes we stretch it out and do like, you know, one one episode a week we've done in the past. Or with like Gloomhaven, we kind of play a whole bunch at once and then kind of play like uh leave a break between and then play a bunch later kind of thing. But yeah. Which is hard for people that are trying to watch, I'm sure. But yeah, because not everyone can watch live, right? And then, and then if we're constantly doing live ones really fast back to back, then people just can't catch up. And then, yeah. Oh, Janet's here. All right, Hi, Janet. I, I was actually was going to ask her. Uh, so let's see. Aftermath. It's pretty easy to pack up and bring back on later, on a later day for another scenario. Perfect. Yeah, it's not going to be like. Yeah, or other campaign games where we're like, want to keep playing it because it's all set out on the table and like covering it up or just playing back to back with nothing else in between. That's what we're hoping, so that's good to hear. That is good to hear. Uh, I'm just going to use some of this uh, uniform gray, I think, for the boots or the pants. I'm not sure if they're boots. Cohen saying it's, it is better to do a few thin coats using, using the thick paint to preserve the details. Yeah, that's yeah, why we heard that, that in videos a lot. Yeah, super thin coats. Yeah. But and that I, just does take a lot longer too. And it's like, there's that trade off of like being very slow and methodical with it, with multiple thin coats, letting it dry over and over again. You'll get a better looking miniature at the end. But sometimes you just want to be quicker with it, a coat or two, move on, and then use like washing and highlighting and stuff after to just like make the miniature pop a bit. And then it, it still is awesome to play with. Like, I still think it's like night and day. Night and day. Playing, playing painted miniature games. Yeah. <laughs> and it just got here. I'm watching and working lesson plans at the same time. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, you're back to work I now. I do not envy any teachers yeah. and what is going on right now. Like, we're keeping Chelsea home, and we're going to do the whole online thing. They have teachers in, in our school board that are going to do online courses and stuff for the teachers that are, like, high risk or whatever it is. Um or being in, exposed to COVID. So we're gonna try that for a bit. We may send her to school at some point during the year, but for now we're gonna, we're gonna keep her home. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how, what happens for those first month, that first month yeah. or two. We've upgraded our office setup. We got her a nicer chair to sit in, a better monitor I put in her room, got her desk set up. Uh, she's got a couple monitors now, keyboard, mouse, new keyboard, mouse, mm -hmm. and everything, so she can like, not just work hunched over on a tiny little laptop like she was doing last year before the summer. We got her like a nice desk set up where she can sit back and like work and uh, do her schoolwork for more than just like one hour a day that she was doing when they sent them home last time. It was kind of a joke, the school stuff they were doing before the summer. Yeah, it it's was like, a here, joke. here, watch this one YouTube video and I'll send you a worksheet and just send it back when you're done. And she'd be done in like five minutes and then be sitting the rest of the day. I'm like, don't you have any schoolwork to do today? No, done it all. Like, interesting. Show me the list of work. It's like, oh, this is it? Yeah. Oh, One okay. math sheet and read this one page. Yeah, it's like, that's the whole day? Really? Yeah. All right, back to the video games go then. Yeah. But now, like, since she might be doing school for, like, five plus hours a day online at home, I want to have her, like, more comfortable and not, not uh, have an ergonomic nightmare after. Uh-oh. Tiny's here. Oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, Animation Raptor in the chat's asking, hey all, let's, let's get this one up, I want, I want to see this one. What's Mel's commissioning rate? I have a few hundred Kingdom Death monster minis that need assembly, assembly and painting. <laughs> that... You have more than just those minis to paint, yeah. get out of here. Nobody wants to paint your collection of minis. Well, I guess maybe they would, but it might take multiple lifetimes. That um, uh, shipping yeah. back and forth would be a little crazy. Yeah, yeah. If we were closer, maybe, yeah, it'd be worth it, and Mel just quit her job to paint Kingdom Death monster miniatures. Yeah. Might take a little while. <laughs> but hello, how's it going? All right. So one thing I was just gonna say, and this is just a, pre a preference for me. So uh, for, for like skin tones, this set came with tanned flesh and barbarian flesh. So I tried one mini with this tanned flesh and I did not think it looked great at all. This barbarian- f but That doesn't look like a real, f like that's- It looks- I don't yeah. know if that's a tan flesh color at all. That's like a, no. it's like a red. Yeah, I used it and I was like, okay, I'll just try because it, it says tan flesh. We'll see what it looks like actually on a mini. And I thought it looked terrible. So this barbarian flesh, I think is almost perfect for a skin tone. I mean, as best uh, of these two. So we're going to use that on the arms and the face here. Well, we're talking about uh, painting mini, sorry. 
Going back to animation raptors. No, no. Uh, okay, let's say we just got word that we can go in person as of September 1st, so adjusting plans from distance learning to go to in person. Oh. Yeah, that's terrible. Billy, like, Billy would finish all of his college classes and then have like four weeks free of nothing to do. I was the opposite. I get all the work and I wait till that like the night before it's all due. Yeah. And then pull an all nighter and yeah. Yep. Yeah, funny story. I I worked in IT, like got an office job before I finished college. Worked for like a year and a half out in the field, uh, doing like web development work. And then I went back to finish college uh, and I went back to school and I had like a programming course in like web app design. It was funny. So I took the course because I need to get the credit, but I didn't need to take the course at that point. So I took the course. I would literally never show up to the labs or I would come to the labs when the teacher would basically complain saying you need to show up to labs. I'd sit there the whole time not doing anything like taking a nap at my desk. And then the assignment would, he would expect you to be working on the assignment in labs and you'd be walking around helping people. And he'd come over to my computer and he'd say, Rob, where's, why aren't you working on it? Are you done? And I'm like, no, I haven't really started yet. Uh, and I would just be like working on something else or like browsing the web or just goofing around. I'm like, he, he's like, cause he'd make you come in. And if you weren't there, you wouldn't get the final credit for the project or exam or anything. So you had to, you had to have a good attendance in this course, but because he never saw me doing the work, he said he would challenge it. So the night before I literally started the whole project and I stayed up six hours or eight hours or something all night doing it after work. And I was also working while in school at the time, uh, almost full time. Uh, so I, I was doing day classes and working evenings and I get home at night and I'd work overnight. Crazy, stupid stuff I would do. So dumb, so dumb. But anyways, uh, I did this project and then the next day I, I, came, I came in, I handed in like half asleep because uh, I hadn't slept yet. I was so out of it. I shouldn't have drove to college that day. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a bad decision also. Uh, but I handed in uh, the USB drive or floppy disk or whatever the hell it was at the time and gave it to the teacher. I go home. The next day, I have an email saying, uh, you're going to get a failing grade unless you show up at my office on this day. Uh, and I need to have an interview with you to go over your project because uh, I, 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 they thought I plagiarized it. Like I just copied it or something or had somebody else do it for me. Because I was never working on it in class, I was never paying attention, I just never cared. Because I, I didn't need to, I already had done it in real life. Like, So then yeah, I, I came in and the interview was like a minute and a half. I sat down, the guy's like, what's the deal? And I explained to him like, here's where I worked and what I did and here's the projects I did. And I did it for this company and that company and here's what, here's what I've done in the meantime between uh, when, I, when I was out of college. And yeah, the guy was like, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Just explained. I started going over what I know and just the way I guess I was talking about it. He was like, "All right, we're good." But yeah, it was funny. He was like all like aggressive when I first got there. Like he was gonna call me out. He like, didn't like you. Yeah, obviously, I rubbed him the wrong way. But I did it on purpose. Like I was just like, "Yeah, get off my case." Like I pay you to be here. I don't need you on my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I was. <laughs> I pay lots of money to sit in this seat. I'll do what I want. Uh, let's see. <laughs> like spray on tan yeah that's what it did look like yeah this one yeah 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 this is like donald trump's tan donald trump tan <laughs> <laughs> yes donald trump's using what is it called tan flesh tan flesh yeah that's what he asked for when they spray him A president of the usa sponsored by army painter Brought to you by Tan Flesh Army Pan. <laughs> and I mean, that's just a preference. People might like that, or maybe if you mix it with a little bit of uh, white or something, you can. Uh, whoops. Uh, Jamie's asked, what Army Painter set do you have of the paints? Uh, it's linked down in the video description. Uh, you can click any one of the Amazon links. Uh, I, I linked it down below so you can read all about it. It's like their Amazon affiliate links. All about it. Read all about <laughs> it. Jim's asking, Rob, have you ever seen a key punch machine? Punch machine. Pretty sure one of my like professors or whatever in college had one. I've never used it though. Now obviously I've seen them in movies and stuff, but uh, they're actually showing the punch cards. I think you mean punch card machine, right? Uh, the punch cards in that, that high score documentary I was watching in like one of the first ones where they're talking about like 
before gaming, like, this is what they had, like, so yeah, that's a little before my time. Dragon says, I'm not hearing Mel beating the devil out of the paintbrush between colors and cleaning. Oh, it's here. Yeah, yeah, she's got, she's got a little it's water. Here. Sorry. Maybe it's the, mic, the mics. It? No, the mics are doing good, I think. <laughs> Patrick says, hand flesh is not really meant to be a one coat skin tone. It's more like an undercoat for lighter tone and shadows that makes skin look more alive due to the red in it. Oh. Pro See? tips. Thank you. This Pro is why tips. we're doing this. So then I'm going to become a better painter because yes. you guys are amazing. Pro tips all days. All day. That's why it's called tanned? Question mark? I don't know. Spray tan is not like tan. Tan's like fake tan. Tan's yeah. Good. But it's more orangey. That's so yeah, like, why like I get Donald Trump tan. Exactly, exactly. He also gets a terrible <laughs> spray tan. <laughs> yes, so suggesting. So, in that sense, now I suppose we are paying you to be here, right? Yes. So, you guys can leave and not do anything while you're here. <laughs> Full control. Full control. Okay, so I'm liking it so far. <laughs> Dale's here. Hey, Dale. Hi, Dale. Uh, hello. Wow. Mel must have great eyesight. My face is literally inches away from the mini when I try to paint. LOL. Uh, sometimes, and I do have my uh, yeah, she's got old her, lady glasses. She's got her, got her <laughs> reading glasses here, just in case. <laughs> I don't have great eyesight. These are these are big. And um, does when, anyone use those glasses? Those like uh, like the ones jewelers use? I see people yeah. using those to paint. Or like the magnifying glass thing with the light on it. I've seen that stuff. I just didn't know if like it's any good or not. But when I am painting like at the, like when we're watching TV or whatever, I'm literally like painting with like right in front of my face. Okay. So this blue still kind of looks like a wash you're right i don't know what to do i don't know if i try to go over it one more time or what mel can you answer that question and what and game it, is the mini from okay and then watch this follow up i have it so <laughs> i may have to buy it <laughs> it's on the screen at sky tear by pvp geeks uh it's like a competitive skirmish like moba miniature slash card game a skirmish game i should have put links to that in the description e that. yeah so i'm not really sure what to do about that moment I think this guy's got a little bit of hair peeking out too that I think I've painted blue right now, but we will fix that with a little bit of brown. We'll go with a oak brown, I think. The link in the chat for the game. Uh, also, I put it in the video description for those watching later. Have I gotten into textured bases? Texturing bases. That was is with like the grass and all that stuff. That's, Not yet. Yeah, that's when you like. I think it looks crazy cool. Yeah, you put like cool. a little sand and like grass things and yeah. stuff. Like. No, I haven't yet. Bases on these look cool. They look like they're like they need to be, kind of like painted and dry brushed and all that kind of stuff because they have all the texture and, the like rocks and things. Look cool. Little hair peeking out of. So, Dan says, I got a magnifying glass with the light. Really helps my old eyes. Hello. I know, right? <laughs> Still same. But actually, painting down here um, is better than painting where I normally paint. Even though I have like a spotlight upstairs where I normally paint, with all the lights here, it does make it easier for me to see. 
Billy says, I get paint on my glasses sometimes. Not sure how I accomplish that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the awesome. goes too close. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just got a little bit. Hey, Reese. Hi. Uh, Reese, this morning, guys. Good, Good morning. Good morning. Getting the type with the five lenses. Oh. I think like the ones where, like, it's, like, all, like, they go up. Light so much better. Yeah. Do whatever you like, Mel. Good advice, Jim. Oh, about the cape. I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You see how it kind of still looks like a wash? Steady hands. Yeah, that's why I'm no good at painting. I Me, don't you think? Hands. Yeah, that's what Dragon's saying. We're saying... Wife says a bit of metallic blue on the cape. So I don't have, but I do have. Yeah, but so you can mix. I know, but listen. So what I've done in the past is I add this shining silver to whatever color I'm using. This way, so you can see it. Uh, and it just adds a little bit. Oh, I did it with this. This guy. So this guy from Aftermath. He has a little bit of the shine in in the picture. It looked like. So I added the the shining silver to. I think I did pure red, and made it more of a metallic-y. I could try that. Thank you, Sacabra's wife. Great idea. <laughs> we refer to her as Mrs. Mrs. Sacabra. <laughs> <laughs> this one is like exploding out. <laughs> no, I, I purposely didn't give you, Tiny, a link to the shop on purpose. I gave you <laughs> to the, what shop? To the, oh. just, just to buy Sky Terror. <laughs> you don't even know if you're going to like it. I we know, haven't that's, played it yet. That's why I'm like, no. I want you to go see the videos, read a little, read at least the marketing blurb on the website. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just mixing a little bit of that shining silver with the blue I already have on my wet palette. We'll put that on and we'll see what this does. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh. Well, you're painting the minis and they offer a hand painted set for 135. 135 US. But yeah, oh. Sacabra's got the correct Canadian conversion price right here. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it's exactly to the penny. Yeah, that like, is he, correct. That's exact he did that conversion. math. 135 US equals 1900 Canadian dollars. Exactly. <laughs> that is hilarious. Because the exchange rate sucks. Plus shipping, yeah. Plus ship, yeah. That that nineteen hundred Canadian doesn't include shipping for sure. Yeah, this company uh, PVP Geeks, they're based out of Italy, uh, from what I've heard, what I what I know. Oh, you need you're not in the center. Oh, sorry. I need to get a code word for when you're like out of focus. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, because I'm I just like slightly like probably Tipito. come closer. Yeah. Tippy toe. <laughs> Hoochie mama. <laughs> Move the mini to the middle so it focuses. Gucci mama. They're in an investment, yeah. But Mel likes painting though, that's the thing. So she started painting and I'm like, I felt bad she was painting some of the miniatures for the streams. And she's like, no, I don't mind doing it. I'm like, oh, in that case, here's, here's some more, here's some more. And we talked about it and started showing the minis on the streams and people were like, you should do a stream painting. I'm like. That's a thing. I know it's a thing. Or videos, at least. I don't know how many people stream painting. I yeah. That's a thing. I don't know if that's a thing. Well, maybe on Twitch. Maybe. Well, oh, yeah, because definitely. the one guy that... The one but guy there's that... artists. There's artists on Twitch, even. So there's got to be miniature painters if there's, like, people yeah. actually painting or making music and stuff. A lot? Yeah, Patrick, yeah. it's a thing? Yeah. Like, streaming painting? Yeah. Well, we on Twitch... find some of these. On Twitch, anyways, the guy that I went to his uh, class... Oh, on Twitch a lot. Yeah, on Gen Con. On he was from, he streams on Twitch. Yeah, I find like, I just searched YouTube, so we found like lots of videos, but I, I, I didn't, none of them seemed like they were streamed. They were like all like edited and intros and pre-recorded and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. 
Mrs. Cabra. Oh, sorry, we had it wrong. Mrs. Cabra says that looks nice. Yeah, I think it looks better for sure. I think it looks less like a wash and more of like a yeah, definitely a great idea. Thank you, Mrs. Yes, Cabra. Yes, we and we know Sarastro. Anyone who doesn't yes. know Sarastro, I am subscribed. Uh, yeah, we are subscribed. I've been subscribed to him for a long time. He, I'm always jealous whenever he's painting some game that I have miniatures of and I'm playing with these crappy plastic miniatures, and then he does this like stream showing how to paint them. But he had all this like fancy stuff and I'm like, I, I don't I don't have all that stuff and all that stuff's like, kind of expensive. And like airbrushes yeah, and all that stuff that, too. But then once you learn like, oh, you can do this cheaper. There's like little fine detailing cheap brushes online that work just as good. And there's, uh, you know, you can get starter paints a set and just mix the colors you need. You don't need like special, stay away from the Citadel Games Workshop stuff. That stuff's like premium and it, it comes at a premium price. So that I can see scaring people away from miniature painting. But uh, yeah, the army painter stuff's not too expensive, Alejo stuff and that, or you just go craft store, dollar bottles of paints, not a problem. Like that's what we've used, just thin them out. Yeah, because for games, we used to just paint the bases and you've probably seen that in but a lot of- But we painted some minis using those, yeah, those paints. Yeah, but that's usually what we did at first and we would just use those and then we started to branch out. And when we first started painting them, we started using those dollar store paints. Jim says, Rob, you need to get the Cloudspire towers so Mel can paint them. Yeah, that's the other thing. I didn't really want them because I didn't paint miniatures, so I didn't want these big, kind of like uh, ugly blobs of plastic on on the table I play. But man, if they were painted, yeah, I'd probably like they're not very functional for gameplay. They kind of get in the way, in my opinion. But that's why I kind of like wasn't really excited to go chase those down. And then for streaming too, we thought that it'd be harder to see what chips yeah, were underneath. Yeah, kind them of in the way on stream and stuff. On stream, but, but man, I mean... it looks they look beautiful on the table and especially painted. I kind of like that would be cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, Janet says uh, there are a couple of people, a couple I follow. Tabletop Minion. Tabletop Minion. I you just told me that. that. Yes, someone just told me about them. And Rob Warren. Him. Yeah, I yeah. talked to Rob Warren. I let him know. Like Mel, Mel watches painting videos and stuff. He's really appreciative of that. Yeah, I watched um, <laughs> before I did all of the uh, aftermath ones. I watched because he did all the stuff fables, which is the same. Uh, is it the same? Similar style of minis, right? They were like little bears and. Because I wasn't, I wasn't sure how to do. Oh, the actual price was. I need to wear my glasses when ordering games. It was one thousand three hundred ninety-nine dollars U.S. to have them painted. So Sakabra so was Sakabra right. was accurate on the exchange. I get it now. Oh my god! I thought he was joking, but he actually did check. So for painted minis. But they're professionally painted. Of course. And it's probably all of them in the whole set, not just the core set. They have like tons of expansions. Not a ton, but they have a few. They're small box expansions. Wow. Imagine. Jamie says that shining silver looks good mixed in with the other color. I may have to try that myself next time I open a Gloomhaven box. Hello. Yeah, see, I think I like that much better. <laughs> I think that looks great. And what I think I might do later is I'm going to try to take the lighter color, um, probably that first one that we started with, and do all the outside like it has in this picture with a lighter just around like with a fine... Oh, Cohen, good night, Cohen. See you later, Good night, buddy. Cohen. Thank you. Yeah, but I like the shining silver. I think that in the blue, I think that made it look better. There's a question for you. Yep. <sighs> so will you be pre-painting Oathsworn? I think the idea is that they're intended to be a surprise. That is true. Well, the big ones in the boxes, yes. Yes, the boxes will be... But my understanding, you're going to have a, a bunch of miniatures that you'd be playing with from the start. Yes. So we could do it like we did with Gloomhaven, where we painted what we had available to us, and then as things became available to us, we painted them. Yeah. So we could we, do that. We could, when we crack it out, just play with it for the first time after we open the box. We'll play with it normally. And then if we... Then in between streams, try to paint it up if we're going to use it in a future stream kind of thing, I think. But yeah, the ones in the boxes, I don't know. I know it's supposed to be a surprise, but like maybe we ruin the surprise for us to have them painted, put them back in the box, and then have them come out of the box painted on the stream Oh. to surprise others. I don't know. But then I know other people won't want spoilers. So, yeah, But I think if we take the time to paint other miniatures, it won't be on the channel as quickly. So those who are playing the game, 
hopefully we'll have seen some of that stuff already. So I don't know for that game, do you open a miniature and play with it right then and there, I guess? I think like, so. Or do you open multiple miniatures or, because I guess, so I'm just going to really quickly, so looking at this guy, he has white eyes, so I'm just going to oh, yeah, yeah. try to do that as so, best as my... Bernd. Uh, over at Meet Me at the Table doesn't teach painting, but he does a great job on the minis in his games. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, we've watched some of his playthroughs and stuff. Uh, oh, yes, we have. Okay, this is... Dragon Show, no. Goobertown Hobbies, another good YouTube channel. Goobertown Hobbies, yes. I, I've watched... Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah. I just don't remember. Perhaps a series on painting the War of the Ring figurines? Uh, <laughs> we painted the bases on all yeah, those. Yeah, there's so many in that game. That's insane. Done. Okay, that doesn't look as bad as I thought. Sorry, what were you saying? Dragon Shadow says, open box, change stream from gaming to painting. <laughs> so, yeah, right then and so there. So as just... we're playing, we're like reading a book. It's like, okay, now for setup, you're going to grab this miniature in the box. And we're like, switch scenes and boom, Mel's on a side table, just starts like busting into painting for like a couple hours. And then we just switch back to the other scene. Then we're like, all right, we're ready to play with it once it's dry. And we'll literally have a scene just Oops, watching sorry. the paint dry. Just literally have that happen. Okay, I'm definitely <laughs> happy with this. Um, the only thing I'm thinking is I need to change whatever these little pocket things are. They're, they're blending in in a weird way. For me, these little is right here, which I thought were part of the coat, but I don't think they are. But I think we're going to just do those in a brown. Actually, I have the same brown that I used for his hair, and I have a little bit on my palette here, so I'm just going to use this. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, it's all good. I was just saying that would be like a 24 hours plus stream. Yes, it would be. Uh, <laughs> Tiny saying, have you watched the videos on painting KDM? Amazing. No. No, I haven't. Yeah, those are like nice miniatures though, right? Those are like bigger ones because you assemble them and stuff. And I think all the ones that you usually, usually assemble have like better detail on them and stuff. Pretty sure. Dragon saying there's a female painter that does 40k Warhammer. Don't recall the name. I think she's in Newfoundland. Oh. Sorry, one second. I think that looks better. Travis says the eyes look great. Someone taught me to paint the whites of eyes over the lines, and then it's easier to pull it back the correct shape with the skin tone that is true if you did if you did them first oh that's a good one yeah because i always do eyes last and then i try to take the same skin tone and try to fix up any mistakes that i made but i think i'm i think i'm okay they're good enough i think yeah that would probably be better to do it first big detail and paint in the ass assembling some parts are smaller than tiny beads for for uh Oh, for KDM? Yeah, KDM. Doom Death Monster. Sword and Steel is the channel Dragon was just talking about. Oh, okay. I never heard of that one. Dragon, the one that you dropped in the Discord uh, yesterday or the day before, I'd already watched her. She's good. Uh, I can't remember what her name is either right now. Okay. Happier with that. I think we'll work on the stone. Do you, should we do a dark colored stone with white kind of dry brush or a lighter stone? Like a ash gray or Necromancer's cloak. 
in the middle with this uniform gray right there and then we'll use like a white to bring up the <laughs> am i ready to start getting painting requests sure i think that that would make me more nervous because i i would um this is just for us and it's just for fun function. Yeah. If it's not perfect, it's fine. Yep. I, I don't care. I'm happy either way it's painted. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Some people may be picky, right? Yeah. What was that? I just say need. Yes, Matt. Matt, I tossed up that one and nobody took it uh, what? earlier when I was saying I should make a joke about watching paint dry. Being a step up from your usual content. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it out there. I was waiting for someone to hit it back, but nobody did. <laughs> well, Matt's got you on that. Yeah, Matt's got it. <laughs> Excellent. So we're going to just do a really thin gray coat, and then we'll do a white kind of dry brush. I was saying darker stone with green moss, dry brush, and white highlights. Oh. I like it. Darker stone with green moss. Hello, white rabbit. Okay. Good evening. Let's go Good darker. Evening. We can do that. That's easy. Let's just go with the necromancer's cloak. It's not too dark. It's the color that's in the belt, so it's not that dark. Again, this Necromancer's Cloak is like my favorite color. There's like a machine or something I have to shake. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to let that side dry for a little bit. It's just um it's just that one. Oh so sorry. Mrs. Cabra. Mm -hmm. That was her recommendation. Uh that's not the cabra. Because I don't do this. Any comments like that are the Mrs. Hey, I'll take it. I yeah, saw yeah. I saw your wife's painting, the um my little scythe that you posted. Yeah, yeah, they were cool. amazing. Take her her ideas. I'll take anyone's ideas. Again, as I said before, I'm not super creative. There's a dark stone color Army Painter makes. Not sure which pack I got it in, though. Is it is it called Dark Stone? What? I find this to be more brown than a gray. If I put it with yeah, but that's that's fine. You, for you me, you probably want to mix them though, like yeah. do a little, some stones in the other one, and where I find this. Whatever. When it dries, it kind of looks, and then if you put a little bit of white or green, um, kind of just pops it out a little bit. Uh, no, Jim, I never played the Baldur's Gate series. It's called Darkstone. Yep, you yep, got it. I got it. But do you find that it's more brown too, or is... it might just be me? Do you have your glasses on when you think it looks brown, or not? I, I can know. see color. With my just, eyes. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just sometimes can't read. <laughs> uh, used as a wash. Darkstone, possibly. Not too familiar with their paint. I've seen uh, people making wash using yeah, yeah. that, but I would be terrified. I don't, can't even use the, use the washes we have correctly. I could never make my own yet. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit, Travis, uh, before on a stream or Sarastro's Journeys in Middle Earth series. He yes. used 12 basic colors. Yeah, that's the basic set. I linked that down below. One of the Amazon links I put uh, is to that one of those Vallejo like starter sets. Those are like what he uses, I think. Uh, but we do see lots of videos that just recommend those. You can do like anything with those basic sets uh, if you're willing to like mix colors and stuff. Travis said it took a week. But I got them done. For Journeys of Middle Earth? Yeah, that's another one. Oh. Actually would be cool. Yes. But there's so many minis in that base box that you'd have to go through. And then the other set will show up in like September. The Shadow Paths. And I know there's a bunch in that box. 
And then it's like, but then you could just paint like just the characters we're going to use maybe. Oh like, yeah, you for don't our need play through. You don't need to do all the characters. I'm just talking about all the like the the enemies and the wolves and the goblins and all or the orcs and these kind of things. Yeah. There's a lot. White of yellow wash over right? Oh, white or yellow wash over olive moss. Over olive moss. I'm getting really technical here. <laughs> <laughs> Anime Shrap says, thanks, Rob. The link turned out to be $60 cheaper than ordering the game via Amazon. Oh, oh wow. that's awesome. Yeah, it we was just their that. official website. <laughs> but I know they, they when when they said they wanted to send the game, uh, it actually just came from like a town, a couple towns over. Uh, they're from Italy, but they were like, yeah, we have distribution like all over the place. They, they had a place like literally like 20 minute drive from our house is where the address the game shipped from some distributor or something i was like quite, kind of impressed uh i thought it was like a smaller never heard of company and game i'm sure it is a small company but yeah they had their distribution stuff down i'm just gonna put a little black around the rim of it to make the stone probably pop out a little bit more make it look a little cleaner dale says it came in late what brand primer to use and is it spray or paint uh so it is just the uh krylon Color Master stuff. We get it at Michael's. I've seen it at Walmart and stuff before. Uh, Krylon Color Master Primer. Uh, but don't we avoid anything that's like two times or whatever. We just do the white uh, or gray or black and it's ultra flat. You go ultra flat and then just spray from like a foot away or so because it is a little thicker than like the primer you'll get that's like made by the miniature painting companies. Um, but yeah, that's what we just use the basic stuff. It's nothing fancy. But maybe goes on a little thick. That's another problem. Hides a little bit of detail. But I try to go far away and do like a couple coats. Um, but yeah, that's all we use. It's like ten bucks a can. I don't want to spend that much on a primer. But no. I, I know it could be a, a better foundation, a decent investment. I, I understand that. But again, we're pra we're painting just for practicality to get the game to the table and have it have it look better than hunks of gray plastic all over the board. We're just moving around. No worries. I appreciate everybody's comments and tips, yeah. and I'm going to have to watch this back with the chat on so I can actually like, read through what everybody was saying. Also probably going to forget. I'm trying to highlight anything that's like about the painting stuff. Uh, Mrs. Cabra makes her own wash oh, uh, for yellow wash. For yellow, Jamie okay. Jamie says his yellow wash is a bit orangey. The washes, that I... Yeah, so like what you do is, in this case, you'd make like your own kind of like blue wash to like go over the really light blue stuff, I think, maybe. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Like, I think you use like your lighter wash to go over the colors. But I find that once I use a wash, it slightly changes the color. Yeah, it darkens it and stuff, right? Yeah, which might be good, I guess. I don't know. Dale says, that primer has been hard to find during the pandemic. Uh, that and toilet paper. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I, the, I went to Walmart, and we have, like, a Lowe's, Home Depot, and we have a store that's like Lowe's and Home Depot, kind of, like, called Canadian Tire. Uh, all these stores, I went in, and I could not find that on the shelves. It was empty at every one. But then we went to Michael's, uh, which was literally across the street. There was a Michael's, but I went all these other places, and really, I could have just walked a few blocks and got, went to Michael's. And they had a whole bunch in a like sealed glass display. Uh, so we went and bought a bunch of cans just recently. I was quite quite shocked that they had a whole bunch. Yeah, because I think people don't think of going to Michael's to buy like primer, like Krylon primer kind of stuff. But yeah, Michael's craft store carries it too. That's my tip to you. I wonder if like Hobby Lobby and stuff, Dale, that, that might be a place too to check it out. That I would assume they carry that kind of stuff. Yeah, the yeah the two time stuff that I mentioned. Yeah, stay away from that. I I wouldn't I wouldn't try it because that stuff's meant for like twice. It's like twice the thickness. It's meant for like you're doing a one coat over some like metal lawn furniture as fast and quick and dirty as possible. Not not good for miniatures. Like way too thick. I, I researched that because I was like, what is this two time stuff I'm seeing all over the shelf? I, I went I went and looked it up and then read about it and it was like, no no, stay away from it for miniature painting. 
It's just really thick, yeah. You could probably go further away, but it's it's just like thicker. It's a thicker paint. It's meant to just do like one coat on things that this stuff would take a couple coats, I guess. Yeah, no worries. So no worries. we have a whole bunch of like dollar store brushes <laughs> for, uh, we don't need to show those off, but yeah, yeah. Uh, just for like dry brushing. Some and... of those are expensive brushes that just like have been used and yeah, worn and I think and this one might, might be actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so these are what we use for like dry brushing, but I'm going to try to use this smaller one to kind of dry brush a little bit of white on these feathers. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if it pops out any of the detail that was there that I may have covered up. Trang is saying washes should be watery without the pigments. Cool. I'll paint it on like base coats. Watery. Oh, so that the pigments pool the indentations of the mini not painted on like base coats yeah yeah you don't do it over like the flat surfaces you just try to get it to like pool in the in the crevices and, and corners hmm yeah i i don't know i never know what color um i never know what color to do with a wash i don't know with a pot of uh, lamian medium from Games Workshop, you can make a wash pretty easily. The Games Workshop paints are pretty expensive. If you more, they're a pretty cheap homemade recipe. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we saw there was like medium too. We, we saw that yeah. at the craft store and stuff. Just don't know. I gotta like look it up at these recipes and figure that out. So, no, but it is slightly picking up some of the, some of the little flutters in the wing. The 401 has sky tear? I didn't even know that. Did I it? would assume board game bliss would, but um yeah, you know, Scarbers is talking about 401 games, a Canadian online retailer. Yeah, if if you have someone to play against the Cobra, it's like I don't know if you played any Keyforge or a competitive LCG or CCG at all. If you have someone in your house or in your game group that'll play those kind of games with you. That's what it seems to me based on reading most of the rule books so far. It seems very much on the, the level of like, you know, a Netrunner, Game of Thrones, a card game, Keyforge, like that kind of stuff. But because you got to build your decks, you have cards, you have heroes that combine, then you can use certain cards and you build your decks. And then you get your minis together and your minions and stuff. You put them on the board, you set up your board, and then you just play like a skirmish, like a kind of like a tournament match. Like you'd play a card game for an hour or whatever, or 90 minutes, I would assume. I don't know the box, but. Okay, so we'll just put this up, and I think that this is much better. Oh, in the center. No, it'll focus on that. You just need to, yeah, put it in the center. Okay. The yeah, but I'm just, I don't know if you can see, like, the white oh, that's okay. kind of popping out on some of it. Yeah, yeah. Versus the other side that hasn't been done yet. I think it looks good. I think it kind of gives that blending yeah, that uh, of the wings as well. We do that to other. Animation just says my wife saw me spend days assembling KDM minis, so she surprised me with a complete painter's kit, oh. brushes, and even a nice paint gun. Sadly, it's all in a box under the game table. Maybe one day. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's daunting. I'm sure. Like to get into painting, it's like it, it took. Yeah, it took a lot of hours of me just like watching videos before I was even comfortable enough to go buy any of it, and then even put paint on a miniature. I was still super nervous. I was like, I'm going to ruin this, like, but you can always fix it and paint over it and, like, who cares? Just find some crappy zombicide minis or something, uh, zombies or some enemy in a game, some aliens that you have, like, 100 miniatures of in a box and just start painting on those, like, that's the best way to do it, I think. Or just one of those uh, cool mini or not or come on Kickstarters you backed that yeah. uh, turned out to be not a great game that you have tons of awesome miniatures in. That'll never hit the table. You can just practice on those. Yep. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, Joseph's here. Hey, guys. Fun to see you getting into some painting. Mel, do you want to paint my 100-ish unpainted minis? <laughs> Winky face. Yeah, Joseph, we watched your video. Yeah, your sun drop. Uh, yeah, your, sun, your, your like, uh, budget sun drop video, which was cool. Yeah. Just showing how you, like... You don't want to play with gray blobs of plastic all over the board like we don't. 
So yeah, if you want to get a quick and dirty paint, sun drop kind of paint on it. He shows like a kind of a video how to do that with uh, just using like washes, basically. Yeah, a little bit cool. of primer and some wash to kind of like give it a kind of shade. I quickly do the back as well. Oh, Patrick says, since I've used makeup brushes for dry brushing, I've never looked back. Yeah, I yes. saw it in the video and I was like, Mel, where's one of your old makeup brushes? But maybe you just got to buy one. Yep, I do. Like they're one of those like ones you use on like your face, the big fluffy ones, right? Yeah, the yeah. ones that you use for eyes more so. Yeah, you would want to use, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like eye makeup brushes. Oh, okay. But yeah, I, um, I, I've been. <laughs> No, Dale, don't take one that she's currently using. You've got to get an older oh. one or buy her a replacement one and then take her older one. <laughs> I know he's Her's joking. going to be like, why are you buying me makeup you, brushes? You put it back. It's got all miniatures paint all over it. She's like trying to do her makeup. Like, what the <laughs> heck is all this? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shoot. Did not. Wipe that one enough. Yeah, we'll see, Sakabra. I don't know if it's as hardcore as like playing Magic and stuff like that, but that's just my impression. But again, the base set, the designer told me uh, that he basically designed the base set to play like a board game. They went after the board game market with that core box, but it's still a one on one kind of game. But it's meant to be like a contained experience, a bunch of variety in that box. And then once you're ready to expand, or if you want to go play in the, in the tournament circuit, and you, then you expand your, your pool of options. Okay, I think we'll do the same thing now on the stone. Dollar store soldiers, cheapest minis to practice yes, on. Yes, I've heard that. Maybe Aren't it they was, very small though? They are. But I'm sure but you I can mean, find some plastic toy dollar at the dollar store. store that's like that. Like, on a tube of minis. Buy a tube of minis. Yeah. Plastic army men, yep, that was mentioned. Uh, Travis, it's, it's uh, board games with Nier Masa on the screen there. That's that's whose channel did like the, uh, the, the cheap and dirty. It's not like perfectionist though, just so you know it's not on the level of Tainted Grail's Sun Drop. Yeah, it's like Sun Drop on a budget. Yeah, it's like quickly base coating. Uh, with a primer, spraying the white stuff on like we were doing the, um, what was that method called again? Zen Zenithal? Zenithal? Yeah, yeah. The Zenithal uh, method of priming and then just using a wash to fill in the shades quick and dirty on the uh, on his minis for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. But I did find back when we got the sun drop, I looked it up how to do that because I want to do it to minis. I did find a video. There is a video out there. Search like sun drop dollar store or something like sun drop cheap there's a guy who shows how he uses a bunch of different browns. He does it. It takes longer, though. But there is a video. I remember watching it where the guy went over. He used a few different size miniatures to show his own effect of sun drop. Um, but he was doing it based on the sun drop that he saw from Nemesis. It was before Tainted Grail. Um, but yeah, he's just like painting random minis with it. And like it looked more closer to Tainted Grail stuff. Hmm. Or Awaken Realms uh, sun drop stuff. So I did the dry brush same on the top of the stone. And if you look at both sides, you can definitely see a difference when you use the um, dry brush. I haven't, so I think I like- Hold it up. For the camera too. You can see like both sides and you can see that it kind of looks- Let's see. I'm not gonna... Oh, oh wanna... sorry. Let me use that sharp focus. <laughs> you can definitely see a difference. The plain side versus the side that you did a little bit of dry brush you on. You gotta model it. You gotta model the model. Oh, you sorry. Take one of those little spinny things and like a side I shot. know, I know. Sorry. <laughs> First timer here. Or, or, or rookie streams here. Rookie yeah. streams. Rookie painting streams 101. Yeah. But uh, dry brush is what I'm working on. I've been watching lots of videos and trying to figure that out. Dry brushing, highlighting, and washes. Brian, thank you so much. Have a good night. Thanks, no Brian. A powered lazy Susan, yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. exactly what we need. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I'll look into that. 
you make that like the outro screen after you're done painting. It's just like you put it on the little spinny thing and it just sits there spinning yeah, while just, the credits roll. Yeah, exactly. I also am a slower painter. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, not, there were Yeah, we've seen videos where it's like, here's how to paint a Warhammer army, quick and dirty. Like, factory assembly line style, super yeah, fast. I definitely love that rock, the way that's looking. You might have that's to do that good. for the minions in this game. Because aren't there, like, yeah. four, four or so minions of each faction? So you kind of have to do, like, a little assembly line kind of idea. Yeah. But they're very small, so I can see even when you're painting very detailed like this, it's they're only so big, right? So it shouldn't take that long. So I think I'm really happy with this. The only last thing I think I'm going to do is a little bit of detail around the edges of his coat or his uh, hood to kind of match the outline. So I'm going to take... One. Maybe I will take oh, this. Dragon saying, dip on the dry brush. Looks yes. like you still have too much paint on the brush. Yeah? Okay. I think it looks fine, but yes, dry brushing is like, it's supposed to be like barely any on there. Yeah. Okay. But I still think it looks great. Okay. Like, that'll look good on video for sure. Like uh, Perfect. when we're playing. I, I, yeah, whatever. Thank you. I will. Base looks good though. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit the of rock this. Rock rocks. <laughs> this um, <laughs> void shield blue on the outside just as like finishing touches. And I think he's done. I don't know. Wish I had two of those minis so it could be like, and now let's show the original oh, that we would have been playing with if Mel never started. Just go to the painting. beginning of the video. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. And like, clip only I could do that somehow. I know, right? Okay, so we're gonna uh, get the smallest. So this is the smallest brush that I have, which is a zero zero zero, and it's like the finest tip that that I have. We're gonna put the ocular doing. Did <laughs> it? Okay, so I'm gonna slowly try to make it kind of like pop out. Oh, you came slightly pop out a little bit. Really concentrating here. Doodlebaugh, <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, welcome. This is probably when I would be right up in my face like this. Did, you, did to... you do any wash on this guy yet? No. Okay. No. Why? Love to that. You said you're almost done, right? Yeah. Well, when you got, you got to wash them and then dry brush, no? Uh oh yeah, I guess. I didn't know if we were doing that like on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Of course. Unless you think it takes too long to dry the stuff you're going to put a wash on. No. Actually, it's not that bad. Because then, then also people will see, like, maybe you get some tips. Like, I know you get frustrated with the washing, but, like, maybe people will see and then they'll give you tips and comments. And remember, like, even after the stream, yeah. if you're watching this in the future, drop comments down below. Leave timestamps and stuff uh, with tips or suggestions or links or whatever. Um, yeah, Mel will look back on this and kind of look yes. and we'll, re we'll read through it after and anything I can help her. She'll be doing the next one of these probably like, I don't know, a couple weeks from now, a month from now, somewhere in between there. Uh, so we got time. So if you're watching this within the couple weeks after it was aired, yeah, leave comments down below, tips, anything like that. If you weren't watching live, obviously. Uh. And any of the comments we can also bring up in the next 
that uh, I took and practiced or... or uh... Dragon says, yes, looks good. Uh, did not mean to make it sound negative. No, no, oh, wait, no, no, you weren't no, saying no, negative. No, no, it's no. a tip. It's all good. No, Constructive criticism. I don't know. Uh, but dry brushing is a slow buildup, he's saying. So, like, yeah, you do, like, you oh, keep going. Times? Yeah, multiple passes eventually till it, like, thickens up on spots you want to really highlight. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a, a good tip. Yeah, yeah, no, no offense. No, no offense, offense. We're not taking thinking it at, negative. All. at all. I may have said it that way, though. No, nope, that's fine. <laughs> Crazy how um, looking at this with my eyes and then looking at it on, we have a screen so I can see. Joseph says he needs some shade slash wash to look less glossy. My taste at least. I don't believe there's an absolute right or wrong to painting my needs. 100% agree. Yeah. And I find some games, like if you're trying to simulate the art of the game, like some miniatures are meant to look more realistic, I find, and some games you want them to look more cartoony or like comic book or flat colors kind of thing. But I think in these ones, yeah, you want to look at more a little realistic and stuff based on the um, based on the character cards and stuff. I think I just get nervous with washes because I don't, I'm not good at it. You know there's like bigger art on the other side? I had no idea. No, I had no idea. I just realized I flipped over the one character card. Mel's been using oh, this for I reference. No idea. But if you go to the back, you have a nicer. <laughs> now we know for the next one. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea at all. That's awesome. Again, We're we... learning more than just painting tips here. Yeah. Flip over the card. I Flip just thought... over the card. I don't even know I what I... looked at them yet. No, I, I didn't even know what was on the other side. And Travis has a pro tip. Oh, pro, pro tips. Love tip. it. Give me the pro Never tips. Never look at your painting through a magnifying lens. I think mine looks so great. Yes. And then I try to take a picture with Zoom. Yes, that's, that's a, it too. But don't do that. Don't do that. I know. Take it from a bit of a distance. But that's exactly what I was or, just going to say. Or put them out on the game or on the table in the actual play setup and then take a shot of the play, like the game set up on the table with the painted minis. I think then it like adds to the whole effect, even if it's like not like a pro paint job. But just painted on the board it's supposed to be on with the other painted miniatures it, they'll all just look amazing that's that's what Sorry. i want to go for is like this one is it, a little it, bit to look funny. nice on the table sorry if it's yeah that's exactly what i was going to say we have it kind of blown up so i can see on the screen and uh i'm like looking at it like ooh, that looks like a little bit messy or Yeah, I try to take pictures too, and uh, I'm always like, Ooh, it's terrible now. I think I'll just put a quick one around the head as well, around the hood. Mm -hmm. And then. Also, your hands don't have enough paint on them. My hands? Oh. Yeah. You, yeah, you're not serious enough if your hands aren't covered in paint. I know. I barely have any paint <laughs> on me. You know why? Because I paint so slow. I feel like I don't get as messy <laughs> as I, I could. You want me to just do... Oh, I didn't even... I don't even have any paint on my brush, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Patrick's right. Pros are advising exactly the other way around because looking through the lens of a cam can help you see... What you glance over by eye. That is true. Yeah, when you zoom in, um, like what we're doing right now, we have it on like a big screen and then like zoomed it on the camera. I can see like when I look at Mel right here, I can I can't see as much detail. But then when we look up at the screen and I do I see it blown up. Yeah, you can see that little mistake I made on the hand. Yeah, there. definitely, it's horrible. You yeah. should throw it out and start over. Exactly. Fix it. No, uh, the what she has. Um, what uh, animation rapper is asking is the little base. These oh. are just um, like model car paints that we bought for like, uh, they're like shiny metallic paints I bought a long time ago. But they work good with just some dollar store yep. sticky tack on top and uh, to hold the minis on. You can still use the paints, take the lid off and use the paint, but they just work good as like little paint holders. Yeah. But you can use any kind of like little tiny jar or wine cork. 
I've heard like wine corks with some sticky tack on top is another good way. Do it. Go. Oh. All right. I know it's because uh, I'm just trying to. That's fine. You just do what trying you to do. do this little tiny yeah, piece. Yeah. I can barely see. Okay. One thing is just bugging me, and I have white. So in the center of his, where um. Got like a little spot here that looks like it might be a shirt or something. And I originally did it gray, but I feel like it's washed out. So I'm just going to make it white instead. Really quick. I just found a set of brushes I like to use. And one brush that comes in this set, bent at an angle. Get in some of the spots you look like you're having trouble reaching. Yes. That okay, exists. That's Can you tell me what that is? <laughs> something in my eye. Um, also, normally I would probably paint it slightly at a different angle than I'm painting right now for some of those. Um, you can do it. It's fine. Well, just like some of those like more fine where you're trying to get like just around like a very, very light um, around the uh, hood without it getting messy. But I think it's fine. Yeah, I think that white in the center pops out a little bit better than the gray that was originally there. Oh, and it kind of looks like wearing a t-shirt that I can see now. Gonna... Do get brushes. Look that up. Yeah. Got over. An eight piece set. Oh. On a fifteen piece set. Bent? No. Oh. I don't look like it, but it might just be my eyes. You can put on the thing. Like an Amazon link. These ones, Dugato? Rim detail. Oh, we said it was an eight piece set. I know, I know, but this is what it, it linked to a 15 piece version, oh. so I'm assuming it would have that brush and more. Oh yeah, true. Like so, I just I'm trying to find out the brush, but I, and also is this the brand? That's all. Then I can search later and try to find the exact. Yeah. Okay, so added just a little bit more. Looks like he's actually wearing a shirt now. <laughs> I think I'm good with him. See you later, White Rabbit. See you. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we'll just let that dry for a quick second while I start thinking about washes. I don't even actually know where I'm supposed to even put a wash on. Uh oh. Actually, okay, I'll find it. Now my hands are. <laughs> Oh, I found it. Found it? Okay, let's see. Yeah, look at this. Look at oh, this. Oh, look at that. It's not not a bad Photoshop job. That is a real bent brush, supposedly. Take a look. Wow, look at that. Wow. Yeah, $9.99. Oh, it's Amazon US. Oh, we got to find Hopefully, it's oh. on Amazon Canada. Okay, or even something similar to that. To ship, $7. Yeah, okay. I'll leave this open. We'll look at this after. Yeah, add it to definitely. My, add That's it to my cool. notes. I'll add it to my notes. I was like, I didn't understand exactly what kind of like, what you meant by like, like bent to bent. get in the, it's like, looks like a dental tool. Like, <laughs> like it's like curved in to get, it's getting those hard to reach places.
Yeah, it helps paint around corners. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'm getting mixed, uh, mixed reactions in the chat about washing. I don't think it needs a wash. Uh, it's also just, oh. Got an Iron Man chest power unit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He's looking good. Thank you, thank you. And I think you don't need a wash. Also just a tool out of many. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, you don't always have to end with a wash. I don't know. The other thing that I could do is I could take, now that we've put this like uh, shine on it, I could take. See you later, Dale. Bye, Dale, thank you so much. I could take just that blue that we originally used and just kind of do the creases with that blue without the sparkle in it. But I don't know. Oh, Joseph says I would wash everything, just my taste. Get it a little bit dirty. Which but, I can do, but I... But are these guys meant to be a little dirty? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These guys are like, like some kind of god or something. I don't know. Like, will it darken it? Like, this guy's like, seems like he's very, like, light and... Yeah, like, based on the art, it's like... Yeah, it's, this is not, like, gritty, but it would add some shadows and stuff. Like, that's it does I mean, make yeah. details pop when you start filling in the lines, right? So, when, but that's the thing. When you wash... Like, look at, under, look at under his feathers. Like, see every line of feathers here is, like, a little dark shadow? Yeah. That's what you would create. There already is, naturally, because we have lights, studio lighting shining from above, but... Yeah. But then if I wash, like, am I washing the whole thing? No, you're just trying to get it in the recesses, like let it pool in the recesses. You're not like washing the whole miniature on every place. You'll just like, I would assume you'd like kind just of flip put... this guy upside down. If you're trying to get like in the shadows here, I think you'd like kind of flip him upside down and kind of just let some pool in there. And then you use a brush to like clean it out if it gets anywhere else but in the shadows kind of like, I, I don't know, but you might not want to like, it, it, you don't need to. Like, we don't need to make them dark. It, it, being a bright blue figure on the board looks fine. Absolutely fine. I don't know. Washing just... over very light colors will always tint the color. If you have a wash medium, you can dilute the wash. The Army Painter washes are way too strong, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, that's what I found. Yep, yep. So I, for an example yep. of how, what I can show you is... Uh, which one? Uh... Joseph saying, yeah, don't this drown one. it in wash, just a little bit. So I did this guy from... Yeah, if you had a blue wash, that could work. So I did this guy from Aftermath. And then I only kind of put a wash, like a try like on the cape to see if it would, I don't know, it didn't even do anything. But then I did like the, uh, all the leather pieces. But then look, a piece, it went slightly on him and it changed the whole color of his skin. So had I washed the whole thing, it would have been this brown instead of gray. So then I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And I didn't realize that it was even there until after. So, I don't know. Yeah. But, I think maybe we don't. I was saying, maybe try a patch of the wings and you can almost paint over it. But I think it looks great as is. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you can use a dark slash light tone on the stone base. And Joseph saying... I always use some cotton pads after I apply the wash. It instantly dried off. So what, do you like dab it? So just a little bit stays. Yeah, just to dry oh. off where it went everywhere else. Like, because you want it to pool in the recesses and then take it off the higher areas. It's like highlighting, like the dry brushing is for the higher areas on the mini. Yeah. And the, the, the wash is meant for like the crevices and the shadows and that kind of stuff. And BitJam's saying water down the wash. Down the wash. Yeah, that would thin it out. Never thought, yeah, of adding water to washes. I'm just doing this for a sec because I saw on his face he had, but I think I fixed it. Oh, just his eyebrow. <laughs> I could see it when you do that, but I could barely see it by my eye. I can say, wick away the water to leave the pigment. Hmm. You're doing the, sh the, the shading or the washing. Again, itself. One sec. Okay. I don't know what to do. I could try. 
I don't know. I think okay, it's let's, fine. We can try. The other thing I could do is just kind of try to highlight some of the, um, like in the cape up here where he's got some indents. Try to do like the line. I've done that on some before. Yeah, it says I wash after applying the base coat and then highlight and dry brush after. Okay. So there's primer. Yeah. And then you do your base coat of your your main colors on the mini. Then she washes and then highlights highlights the like so she would do all the light blue little highlighting things you did and stuff and then cut, uh, dry brush it at the very end. Oh, so okay, so like when I when I um, dry brush like the wings and stuff, you yeah. would do that after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then that, that lightens it up, right? If you're highlighting and dry brushing after. You'll clean up all the spots it darkened that you don't like, and you put your colors all back and everything. Oh, okay. that makes sense. So maybe don't do it on this one then. Yeah, maybe we don't do it on this one, and then next time I'll do that. But you and could I'll try also, that. yeah, because that'll add like another hour to painting because. Then I'll you have to redo it, that and then, again. Yeah, then you're, after you wash, you probably will want to lighten it up and then highlight it and dry brush it and stuff. So then you're kind of like redoing what you just did. Yeah. So John Tan says, base coat, then wash, then highlight and dry brush. Okay. So that's what we do next time. That's what we do next time. So yep. the only thing that I would do then right now is I could do some highlight, but I mean, I can do it quickly, probably. Uh, anime Shrub says, looks nice. I'd be afraid to do more, but I'm no painter. Yeah, that's me too. I get, I get, yeah. I get nervous. I don't know <laughs> if I want to touch it. <laughs> We're not I'm like, I, I think it looks okay. I think it looks, if I'm comparing it to the picture, which is what I'm going for. I'm like, this... Also, make sure the wash is dry before going to the next step. That would be key. Yeah, that makes sense. How long does it take to dry, Janet, after you do the wash? Like, could we do that on stream? Or would you say, like, we kind of do a couple minis, like, up to the point where we put the wash on, then stop, bring them back for the next stream, and then do the, like, highlights and dry brush? Or I guess if you're doing multiple minis, you just, like, put one down and dry yeah. and, like, have them at different stages. I've seen that before in like videos and stuff where it's like you just do it at different stages. It's table ready, yes. We, I'm just gonna, once she's done, I'm just gonna spray a varnish over it, uh, like probably tomorrow. And that'll kind of seal the paint on. So then your hands and stuff, it creates like kind of a, a coat on it to protect it from your hands, uh, constantly handling the mini and like wearing the paint off. 30 minutes if you want to be sure it's fully dry. Okay. Janet usually washes and comes back 30 to 90 minutes later. Yeah, I guess you would want to make sure that it's completely dry yeah, before. Yeah, so then you would paint one, wash it, and then start painting the other mini. Because it'd definitely be like 30 minutes later, then you go back to the other one. Yeah. At least. Hmm. Yeah, and Joseph's very true. That's what we're saying, like practicing on zombie minis. It also depends on the game, right? For Zombicide, I dipped my zombies in a bowl of brown wash so they got the whole dirty look. Exactly, yeah. we did that too. Yeah. I have like uh, the quick shade stuff where you just like army painter quick shade, you just like dump it in. Uh, we got that to do that with that. You could also use like wood stain to do the same thing. But that's when you're like just doing quick and dirty zombies and post apocalyptic stuff. More of the real gritty, dirty look. I'm just kind of picking out pieces and using the original um, the original deep blue that we used without the sparkle now to kind of put it on any of the higher parts of the of the hood or the um, outfit here. It's hard to see. <laughs> Greg says wood stain on minis is bad. Tried once, it was sticky even a week later. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I would just get the quick shade stuff. But that stuff's expensive, too. Or maybe it's just right now because of the pandemic, but I was looking at it. I see it pop up on Amazon. I'm like, whoa, that's expensive for a little tin. What I did wrong? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but that stuff is meant for wood, right? Maybe it's meant to like kind of seep in more. Wood's more porous than plastic, maybe? That's what. 
And I'll just do the same kind of idea. Hard to tell, like, on camera, but I can see it with my eyes. Maybe because it's a little wet still, too. I'm just going to kind of do the knees. What is this you're doing it with? With the same color that I... So for the... Uh, for the hood and cape, oh, I went in with the same deep blue, but without the sparkle now, to just do the, um, where it's like kind of creased. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it kind of just highlights it a little bit. And then I'll do the same with the knees, so you just kind of do like where it pops at the knee with the same color. Or maybe not the same color for this one, because I won't actually do anything. Slightly darker. Or even a white. I don't know. Let's do the one up. We'll go one color up on that. Don't get the Fargo clear coat. It's bad for your health. <laughs> Patrick says you can... Good thing is you can paint roughly five all-in pledges of Zomside Black Plague with a single bottle of Quick Shade. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of that's... Makes sense. It just kind of makes it kind of stand out slightly more around the knee. Clothes highlight looks great, so you won't want to wash the whole mini. I would recommend using Nuln oil and thin with two thirds flame and medium, mm -hmm. just to uh, just to wash the wings and highlight to pop in. Yeah, we don't have. Yeah, we that's have like that. that's the Citadel stuff. I think right. Those are the Citadel like wash stuff. We only have this like Army Painter fifty set. Yeah, so I think it's. I think like we don't have a medium to thin. We were talking about that earlier. We just don't have a medium. That's something we got to get before next time maybe so that you can use it to try to thin washes and maybe experiment with some of that yeah but so that's a good tip like yeah we need to try that these are the ones that i have uh and it looks like these two are pretty much the same but i still think the i think that the flesh is lighter slightly but they were saying before these are way too strong so maybe... yeah so it's going to totally change the color to it's going to make it a darker color I don't know. See you later, Tiny or Anime Raptor. Good night, Good night. all. My Thank daughter's back so at much. school, so you need to get her to sleep. Oh. That's awesome. Oh, great job. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, compared to this, I think it looks great. It looks. Make a note of that stuff. Known oil. Looks like what it should look like based on this picture. And. Lithium? Uh, or lam lamian? 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 I don't know. Not lithium. I'll figure it out. I think, Medium. We, I think we could just leave it as is, probably. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I think it looks very similar. Similar enough that we'll definitely know whose mini this is, like yeah, with the yeah. card, I think. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody's kind words. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's here. Hi, Ryan. What are you painting minis from? I really need to start this. I have way too many mini games unpainted. Yeah, uh, see, just start a channel and start painting them on a channel, and you have no choice. <laughs> no, but Mel was painting just a whole kidding. bunch. Like, not before we even did this, Mel was already yeah. painting a whole bunch. Uh, but it's Sky Tear uh, is the game. Uh, I linked it down in the description of the video for those who are curious. Uh, for more information on the game, we will be playing it on the channel at some point when Mel is done painting the miniatures. But she's just started today, so it might be some time. Yeah, I do paint faster, I think, not. Yeah, I'll still, on still camera. crush a few of them, you know, between streams. Yeah. I can also put things away and then come back to it, so mm -hmm. a bit faster. But I think this guy looks good. Nolan oil is like a brown one. Oh, okay. And oh, then you use okay. the medium to like thin it is what I'm what I'm understanding. I mean, like you said, we could make our own. But, yeah, but I think then you have to buy like all these other chemicals to mix it. I started looking at that DIY stuff for making these Citadel things. And like it is good if you're batch painting or you're painting a ton because you buy these like bottles of things and you can make this stuff and it 
it like makes so many batches, but it's like we're not painting like I guess you will eventually paint a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, no one oil is black. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we need that much. Like I'm okay with just buying like a pre-done product is fine. Yeah. If we like really keep it going, then yeah, like buying the chemicals we need to make it and then like make our own little batches would make sense financially. But like right now it's like, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think we have to learn more about all that first too before yeah. we try. And says, so just take the brown wash you have, just add some water if you need to thin it out. But will that still not keep it the same uh, the same color, or will that well, lighten it? Well, it doesn't it? add. It just lightens it up. It thins it out. It's it's clear, right? You're adding water to it. Yeah. And hey, Brian. Uh, Brian says hello and looks good. For those in Calgary, there is a group. There's a group. A group for people who have a bunch of unpainted minis filling up rooms in their houses. You have to live in Calgary to be Un part of the group? Unpainted Minis Anonymous. Because I like, uh, I'm... <laughs> Just kidding. I'm in one other group on Facebook for painting minis. I love ideas, so if you don't need to be from Calgary, I can join. <laughs> yes, and they even paint. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a group of people that get together to paint? Because that is even more fun. Not use brown wash. He will look like a beggar with wings. LOL, says John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I'm... Yes. I don't want to wash him. I yeah, think yeah, we're not. Fine. We're not going to... We're not going to wash him. We're going to keep him as is. I think it matches the style of the art. You can always go back to them later on in the future. Once you do a bunch of other painting, you figure things out. You found this cool, cool way to do a little bit of, of a little bit of washing for some shadows. You've, you've, you've perfected your process. You come back to it, touch them up a little bit. It's totally possible. Yeah, that is true. The thinner, Mel, the thinner helps the paint particles settle in the creases, not on the flat portion. Okay, okay. Okay. And the group is, they're going to be helping teach my girls to paint. They meet on Sundays. That is oh, awesome. Cool. That is so fun. I wish they, well, maybe they do have something around here. Like I said, I've only been doing this for like a month and a half, so I haven't, I haven't uh, figured out all the groups and Thanks to join yet. And paint party at Robin Mel's when the borders open. Sure. <laughs> like, all right, guys. We need, Bring we your need, own paint. We need to get this game to the channel quick, and we want to paint every single miniature in the box. We need to do it in a day. Let's do it. Everybody, assemble. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like you could constantly keep touching up little places as you look at it, but I think... Jamie says, just head to Millennium when you can get there. Yeah, when yes. we cross the borders, they have a whole aisle of paints oh. and washes you can go through, LOL. I know. You know what's funny? We've seen them, but now I'll be looking at them in a totally different light than I yep, looked at yep. them before. We never really go down those aisles that much. I have in the past when we were buying, like, paints here and there. Uh, but, yeah, our local store here uh, that we would go to for that kind of stuff, uh, it's like curbside pickup only. They started an online shop but don't have any products there. So... Yeah, I, I'm just gonna. I might order from there. We'll see. I'll look online and see what I can find, but no rush. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I think Wrap I. Wrap it up. Do what you were gonna say. I was gonna say, I think. We'll just do a comparison. I think I'm happy with the way he's turned out. I think he looks very much like the pitcher. Okay, so hold it right there. One sec. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Can we move the pitcher or both? Like no, just leave it. I didn't. I didn't do it as fancy as I would like to, but we'll go to the original. Oh, oh. what the heck? Good thing. Oh, oh, there it was. Up again. Pick him up. Come up. How unorganized no, I am. Pick it up. Sorry. No, pick it I'm up. Terrible. Okay, there it is. Oh, okay. So there's like the before. Now, would you rather play with this on your table 
or would you rather play with this? Now see, when you look at it in that light, I don't care how good or bad it looks, I just want to play with that way more on my table. That's how I look at it. That's true. Like that's the glasses I'm looking through is like, I'm just picturing all the minis on the board, we're playing at the table, it's on stream, like man, all those colored minis on the board are going to pop. I think it'd be awesome. That's true. Very good though. <laughs> Everyone grab a color, assembly line paint, paint your color, mass, uh, pass mini to the next person. <laughs> there you go, yes. Yeah, paints and brushes are a very expensive addiction. This, I, I realized this yeah. when I was looking at this stuff years ago. It was scary. That's what kept me out of doing it was like, man, I see it's a hobby within the hobby that, that can be a whole rabbit hole. Yeah, it's definitely fun. And for me, I find it so relaxing. Maybe not for other people. They might find it stressful. But for me, I find it, you probably find it stressful, right? Because you. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But for me, no, I'll just sit there and paint. Obviously, this is on stream, so it's a different kind of environment. But when I'm just painting normally, yeah, very relaxing. Trust me, when you walk away from minis and come back to them, you'll think they look even better. But if you wash, try to use a similar color, water down dark blue, and just apply to the recesses. Now, do they make dark blue washes? Well, I think what they're saying is use the medium, grab the blue you use. Yeah, and then add some kind of to like it. To give it that clear, those clear pigments that, that thin it out. Yeah. And then the color falls in the recesses, I would think. Yeah. No airbrush kit on the way? Uh, no. No. No, I don't want to go there yet. No, maybe not ever. Maybe in the future, though. It looks cool how like quick you can do some of this stuff, but it yeah. is like a more messy process, right? It's just like quickly get on some base coat colors and then after you go in with the brush, I think, right? Yeah. I think that's how it works, at least from what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> 50 shelves of gray is stressful too. That is true. <laughs> that is true because there's going to be the one that you don't have and you can't remember which one. <laughs> oh, whoops, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Jamie's got a tip here. Take a hot glue gun and make a ball in his hand, then paint, then paint it to look like the ball of light in his hand. Oh. Oh, I never thought of that. That's cool. So we just take the um, Void Warden uh, from Gloomhaven and take no Exacto knife. Exacto <laughs> knife the ball up the top. <laughs> just plop it on here. Yeah, that's a great idea. Rob says expensive to start, but once you have a good selection of thirty-ish paints and a paint smaller and paint smaller minis, they'll never run out. Maybe a hundred dollars total for me. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, like none of these are even close to running out. And I think this uh, Necromancer's Cloak, this one I use a lot for bases and I use um, a lot just for capes and... So Jamie does it to make yeah. fire on torches using oh, the, the glue. Oh, okay. Blue. Oh, yeah, because you can kind of make it... That's um, cool. Yeah. Oh, man. So creative. That is cool. Or use cotton ball fuzz. Oh, Oh, you guys are so creative. Yeah, that's neat. I like Definitely these little tips and creative. tricks. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. I really appreciate all of the tips from everyone today. That was amazing. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. That was a lot of fun. Yes. I really appreciate everybody's tips, comments, helpful strategies. I'm going to read back through this later. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And again, if you're watching this later, after the stream, drop comments below. Leave timestamps if you can related to any kind of comment or question that came up to make sense or just, you know, just describe it well down below. Leave us tips, anything, uh, products, stuff, tips, like strategies you do to get certain things like this whole hot glue gun thing. That's crazy. Yeah. Or use Q-tips for small torches. <laughs> That's genius. Um... Uh, been a pleasure. Look forward to tomorrow's painting. Says Dragon, get out of here. Well, I guess that would be a good time to say if you like this kind of stream and you yes. want to see more of it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, I won't be offended. Hit the down button. Doesn't mean my <laughs> painting was bad. Just means you don't care to watch it. And I'm totally yep. fine with that. I understand it's not for everybody. So. But yeah. We'll keep doing this. So in a few weeks, month and max, we'll schedule another one. Mel will be back. She'll have more of these painted. Hopefully all of them painted maybe by that point. Yeah, maybe we'll be painting something else. Yeah, we'll see we'll where be I'm working at. on another game. So. In a month for sure. But if it's, sh if it's shorter than a month, then 
We'll see. But stay tuned for a Sky Terror playthrough, which eventually hit the channel, and we'll have all these minis painted on there. And Mel can do like a little, you know, we'll show off what she's done. And if she changed anything on this mini, we'll show that off in the playthrough. Yeah, I also start posting pictures of the minis that I paint in the Discord channel that Rob made it made for me for my painting. So Yes, that's well, in our producer tier, Patreon, private Discord. There is a channel in there, mini painting with Mel. So yeah. if any of any of our producers are in there, you guys can go can comment in there too, and yeah. Mel will see that. Anything related to these streams or painting in general, drop them in that yeah. channel. Or tips you have, I'll post pictures. You guys post pictures of paint, uh, minis that you've painted as well. It was awesome. <laughs> good night, Patrick. Yeah, three thirty in the morning. Time oh my for gosh! Bed. Yes, oh. good night. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. Yeah, maybe next time we'll try one of these on like a, a like oh, a, a like weekend, a, like midday. Like a, yeah, like a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, or something, something something a little earlier, so our our folks in Europe uh, can can watch without it being middle of the night. Yeah. But yeah, thank you everyone for thank watching, you. and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye.